Alrighty, so, uh, uh, Tyburn couldn't be here today because he, uh, he's sick. And, um, Tog didn't show up as per usual, so we're gonna continue on. Um, does anybody want to do a brief recap of last week? Or I could take care of it if you like. Anybody else want to describe the discussion I had with my dad? Uh, I wasn't here. Oh. Okay. I think Ben should do this one. Okay, so you Agreed. guys... Uh, the, the the players returned from the Feywild, having, um, I wouldn't say passed their their test of wisdom, uh, but made it made made it through it, and were allowed to uh, progress through the Feywild into the uh, the material plane. When they got back, they realized that only Tyburn and Artlocks had memories of their travels. Everybody else forgot what happened. In the Feywild, from their point of view, they just went through one portal at the top of the tower in the Material Plane and appeared inside another portal in Beneventum, also on the Material Plane, with nothing having happened in between. Uh, but they got out of that. Uh, everyone nearly drowned, but Coswin saved the day there. They met up with uh, Sir Hadrian, who was in Beneventum at the time. Almost got caught by guards on the way out of the museum due to some... <sighs> I wouldn't say fancy, uh, fancy footwork, uh, fancy verbaling, f fancy talking. They almost talked themselves into getting arrested, but a couple spells saved the day there. Oh, yes, I can text my wife. Okay. Uh, you guys how'd realized you, how'd upon... How you talk yourself into getting arrested? We're very skilled. It was... The, the, the sentences weren't constructed entirely... Like adequately to on. get the desired result. Basically. So they they would um, cast suggestion and say, "I suggest you do this," but what they suggested didn't get them out of the situation. It just diverted attention momentarily. Is basically what happened. But they uh, managed to get I, out. Of I the suggest you look down. The guy looks down and looks back up. Well, yeah, oh, like shit. there was two people there, and they go, "I cast suggested on this guy, and we are not the droids you are looking for." And so that guy failed his test and walked away. And then the other guard was just standing there, like. <laughs> you know, there's still a problem here. <laughs> um, when you guys made it out of Beneventum, realized that uh, Ostia had become under siege by Edmund, with Warkvard <laughs> serving as his, like, uh, military advisor, uh, with several contingents of men from cities from the northern area. Uh, Silvium and Vigilum and Meleventum all have contingents there, sieging Ostia. Two siege towers are under construction currently. And Rend is actually prospering due to the siege because all of the trade, all of the supplies and everything that are flowing from the free, sta uh, free states um, to here have to go through Rend and it is uh, prospering from the increase in trade. Uh, but when they, gave when they got back and realized four months had passed, uh, Artlux found out that his father had arrived, uh, having received the letter sent to him, taken up residence in his mansion even taken up residence in his own bedroom, had set up a betrothal with a uh, a woman of noble birth for him, and was rather upset that Artlox had gotten the, the realm into dire financial straits. And uh, the understanding is that he's unwilling to pay for Artlox's mistakes, but if the... Uh, if Artlox loses his titles, he'll gladly buy them from uh, the Lords of Karna so that the titles remain in the family, but Artlox will be taken out of the uh, the line of succession, and the title upon his death would pass to his brother, Artlox's uncle, instead of Artlox himself, due to his mm, hedonistic lifestyle. Past lifestyle, at least. He's changed. Uh... You guys also found out that the uh, that Flaccus, one of the the, the the lords of Karna, had came to Rend in the absence, seeking compensation for the agreement that they uh, that they signed, and requisitioned a very expensive item from Giyagushka's magical shop set up in Rend. And Giyagusha now feels that Artlox owes him for what was lost. So, he agreed that he would call the the debt settled if Artlox uh, basically works for him. If he and the crew 
travel south, pick up a a item of uh, great value, and return it. He will call the debt with him settled. Where we left off, the tr- the the group had uh, spent the day uh, traveling south to Smuggler's Run, right there where Artlock's just pinned. Uh, they stopped in at uh, Monty's shop, and Artlock's his uh, considered selling the wand of Orcus, which he feels is uh is 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 I don't, I don't know how, how would you say uh, how do you feel about the the weapon how do i feel about the weapon yeah uh, like you don't you, you think it doesn't need to be here but and, and you don't want anything to do with it monty agreed to pay a very hefty sum for the for the item and that's where we left a hundred thousand no we'd already left the shop i said we would come back on our return yeah and that's where we left off you we we, he basically was like okay the offer stands and then we ended it right there so that's where we are you guys are all in that was that tog popping in or ng popping in that that was me i told you to set an alarm didn't i I, i'm sorry i'm not feeling too good i'm pulling a timer yeah yeah i'm pulling i'm I'm pulling a timer okay Okay. Feel bad about it. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. All right. See Bye. You. Could that be, could that become a euphemism like pulling on my tie bun? Oh my. <laughs> oh, my tie bun. Okay. Well, because uh... <laughs> pulling on my clerical helm. Uh... Oh, quick question. Um, you said that Artlock's obviously had a discussion with his father and family and stuff. Did we hear that? Like, did my character hear that? It was, um, yeah. a lot of it was shouting. Okay, okay. So, so you, you guys were like one, you guys were like one room over, so you guys heard a lot, of, um, the, the majority of that conversation, yes. Okay, so we, we know, okay. Um, I'm not sure how Artlock's plans on dealing with his, um, his new bride-to-be, but I guess we'll come to that hurdle. Um, now, uh. I, I, I feel like it's okay for, for, for us to jointly bring Tybert along with us, but uh, I don't mm. think it's um, going to be conducive to have two T-posed players. So is anybody opposed to me just saying Rebecca uh, has business to attend to and is not going to be joining you on this adventure? Or do you guys, does, or does somebody want to fucking roll that, uh, roll with that NPC and, you know, understand, figure out how Warlock works? No, uh, just say she had some she, business unless, to attend to. She, and, she, had, she had lady business to attend to. <laughs> <laughs> but Ty, I, I, I don't want to leave Tyburn behind because he's the party healer, and he's pretty easy to run. He, he has spiritual weapons. He has his healing spells. He has um, a mace. Uh, he's he's got a crossbow. He's got a um, mace. He's got light. Why am I exploding right now? Oh, a uh, midge is live. Interesting. Double wild. Oh. Is that the thing that just says, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like, oh, Midge is here. So, what do you guys want to do? You know that the, uh, and I do apologize that my that I'm looking very red right now. My my ceiling light went out this morning, so I got a just a lamp with a shade on it right over here. So I'm looking particularly orange this morning. On, um, on my screen, you're completely black, so. Oh, my. Oh, um, go into your settings and hit reconnect uh, video. So you I mean, guys, all the others are fine. It's just that um, one. You guys know. You guys are in Smuggler's Run, small town. You've been here uh, once before. Outside Monty's shop, you know that the the directions you've been given is that um, the uh, the small town you're looking for is south of Smuggler's Run. You just have to follow the river, and you'll find it. The uh, the travel that uh, took you the the travel time to get you guys down here has uh, left it into like early early evening. Maybe a few hours of sunlight left. What do you guys want to do? Did, did Monty say anything about me? You no, didn't go in. You didn't go in. You stayed outside. But did he tell anything to Artlocks? Did he like ask Artlocks? I don't think he recognized us. Uh, okay. Um, should we did go Art- stay in an inn for the night, maybe? Sounds good to me. Crosswind. Uh, yeah. 
Oh. I mean, do, does Artlock know how far traveling it is to this place he, we have to go? All I know is it's we follow the river. I'd prefer not to stay in Smuggler's Run for very long. Okay, well, we can leave now. Well, then I guess we can start making our way towards the village, city, town thing. Camp by the river when it gets dark, maybe. Is that what you guys want to do? Yeah, why not? All right, so you quickly make your way through through the town. There's few people as the sun uh, is it's it getting into the afternoon. There's few people walking around. You go by relatively unnoticed and uh, out the the back the, the back side of the town. You notice that um, the the road, the actual like old imperial road that leads down this way, uh, quickly bends back up to the north around the bay. But there is a um, it looks like it may have once been a uh, a smaller road head south, but maybe the uh, the flagstones um, have been removed for some reason. But there is definitely a like indented area um, of slightly overgrown trail that leads south. Just it just follows the river uh, around a bend, and you can't you can't really see where it leads to. Also, I'm gonna ask Perry why he doesn't want to stay in Smuggler's Run. Uh, you know, just just in case, some, you know, pe- people see me, recognize me. Yeah, j- just in case. <laughs> just, just in why, case. Why I don't you want to be recognized? Yeah, uh, it's it's fine. Let's let's move on. <laughs> Perry quickly dismisses the uh, the noble knight's questions, and and you know, speeds up just a little bit to get a few steps ahead of him. You follow the the path into the mountains, and you can see that the river is very clearly. Um, carved out like this really wide swath uh, through the through the foothills leading up to the mountains, kind of twists and turns, and you lose sight of the uh, of the town behind you. You travel for about forty five minutes, and it gets, starts to get pretty dark because uh, as you move closer towards the mountains, they obscure the setting sun, and uh, you you just got you know you know you know like big shadows cast by the mountains over the entire area. Uh, slightly farther on, um, you come around a bend and you can start to see the dark outlines of several buildings. How far away? Uh, maybe half a mile ahead. I'm sorry, a little over a kilometer ahead. I mean, I say we just finish it off, just get to the buildings. Okay. Okay. You guys continue shelter, forward. Shelter. You guys continue forward. And as you approach the buildings, you you notice that the the path starts to part. One very clearly goes towards the um the small assemblage of stone buildings that straddle the river. Um and the other one leads up in in a winding path that hugs the cliff face and winds out of uh out of out of sight but it goes up into the mountains you can also hear the uh it's pretty humid here and you can hear the like the crashing water of a large uh large waterfall you know that constant roaring crashing sound I say we just go to the stone buildings because shelter is shelter. We can figure out where we have to go in the morning. Okay. Okay. Give me you shelter. Guys, you guys uh, make note of the path that leads up into the uh, the hills. And as you get closer to the town, uh, you can see the waterfall cascading down. The buildings seem to be built close to it, but just a little little outside of it. Most of the buildings you come across as you're walking down this, dilap- uh, this dilapidated street have been... Uh, purposefully deconstructed it looks like a lot of their stone materials have been repurposed people came in and started taking them apart uh and the ones at the very very edge are just uh just footprints basically left and then as you go into the town it seems that people were uh working their way in from from like manor house to manor house uh and most of them are in Various states of of disrepair. None. Uh, they all are missing their windows, their roofs. Uh, various walls are torn out. 
But as you get towards the back closer to the waterfall, there's one building that does appear to be mostly intact. Yeah, we'll go for that one then. Okay. You guys head for the building, and uh, what you notice is that the while the window, like like the window frames are intact, all the windows have been smashed, uh, smashed to pieces. The door has been um, uh, knocked off of its hinges. What do you guys want to do? Knocked off of its hinges, like the door's been like caved in, like okay. kicked in, or like massive beast one, ran in. One, and... one, um, like the top hinge has been completely dislocated, and the second one is just so you know, like it's, it's still hanging on by that, but it's fallen in. The door's intact, but like damaged. Um, get to look inside. Looking inside, yeah. you can see that uh, there is old furniture uh, covered with dust, um, exp- you, you know, slightly weathered from uh, who, how, who, who knows how long of uh, being exposed to the elements. But it does seem to be s- still furnished. Okay. Uh, I'm going to warily look inside like actually like sort of move through the doorway a little bit you take a ginger step in and look around and it seems to be a um think of think of like a uh like a house you'd rent on like the greek coastline it's it's large it's spacious it's it's built oh, down it's, it's built a timeshare it's yeah it's a ti- it's a timeshare in greece um it's, it's built for lu- yeah, it's like a villa. It's it's <laughs> built for luxury. It doesn't look like it's built for like year round uh, uh, living. Usage. More of like a vacation area. There's lots of um, uh, sofas. Uh, there's de- uh, destroyed tables and stuff like that laying around. There's even some uh, you know like porcelain and and things like that. Some broken, some not. They call this town Benidorm. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, okay. Um... Are there any, like, marks on the floor where, like, something might have charged in? Uh, do a perception check. Uh, all the characters. You look around at the floor and your elf eyes see maybe a few scratches that lead, um, towards towards what looks like a bedroom on the left-hand side, but they're they don't look like they're they're too violent. Maybe just re- from repeated movement. Okay. Well, I'm I'm gonna go search the rest of the rooms, make sure there's no right. hooligans hiding or any. Do an investigation check for me. Oh, good lord! Sir Hadrian loudly stomps through the house. His uh his heavy armor <laughs> clanking as he goes. And announces to the group that it is clear. Cool. Okay, I'm Did gonna... I... The the I'm gonna... house is mostly still finished. Uh every every window has been smashed, uh smashed to bits, seemingly from the inside out. Inside out? That sounds weird. The people were trying to get out the house. Why would you be desperate to get out your house? <laughs> There's a lot of uh, Hey, Ben, could you put the uh, token of where we... Uh, the token on the map where exactly we are, just for reference? Boom, right there. You're basically, r- like, right down that way. The Tyburn token. <laughs> the party member who is not here. <laughs> well, obviously, obviously someone broke down the door, probably came in, people tried to escape out. Through the windows, I would assume. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. Let's see if I can. But how do we know if ne- do we know if anyone's still here? There's no one in the house. Let's see if I can find some appropriate background music. Are you um, sure you shit the whole house? I just did. He 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 went through every room. He didn't see he didn't see anything out of the ordinary ter- too much. Got to double check for a basement. Okay. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Yeah, basement or attic. While they do that, I'm going to go take care of my horse. All right, so you go outside and um, f- find some some grazing area for Princess and uh, tie her up. 
Took the mic kind of cut out, so it sounded like whores. Oh my! Well, <laughs> well, find some crazy take care of your All right. So uh, Hadrian's up. I pimp. actually, yeah, I, I <laughs> someone's got to well. make some money. Uh, all right, Art Locks, make a investigation <laughs> check with advantage because Perry's helping you out here. All right, so you uh, you make your way through the house. You go into the kitchen and think, hey, maybe there's a trap door in here that leads down into a wine cellar or something like that. Uh, but yeah. you are you're not able to find a lower level. Um, you make your way into one of the bedrooms, and you can see that uh, one of the like the the bedclothes have been kind of ripped up. Uh, and you start looking around, and you notice some uh, like some scraps, this is some uh, like leaves and twigs and stuff under the bed. And you take your to pick your head over, and what you see seems to be some sort of nest with eggs in it underneath the bed. So yeah, scratches, repeated use, heading to the bedroom. Uh, there's clearly a creature coming in and out for this nest. Do I cast win? Ah, that's why the windows are broken. Yeah. I need you to nature something. <laughs> Do you recognize these eggs? Let's see here. Uh, if trying to recognize the eggs, I think it'd just be like a straight-up intelligence check. With, I, I still need cosplay for that. I think. <laughs> A straight intelligence check? Yeah. Unless, could you, could you, I mean, I don't think nature would really apply because I think it'd be more like plants and stuff like that. Animal handling, I think that'd be more for actually trying to deal with animals. I guess you could do animal handling if you want. Do intelligence. Because uh, animal handling is wisdom. There are eggs. <laughs> Not a clue. About Thanks. that big. Okay, um... Crack one open. Oh, that, do they look any... Are they pretty in any way? They're white with some gray speckles on them. And a tinge of blue. They're not leathery with a four-pronged opening in the top? No. <laughs> Was that an alien reference? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to stick my face in front of it and see what happens. No, no, to be fair... To be fair, we didn't find these in a in an ancient temple that we had to be lowered down into. So I think we're okay. <laughs> um, okay, I suggest then, just because I don't want to disturb whatever creature these belong to, that we stay in an area of the house where it can it can just run past and get to the eggs without. It's in a, it's in, in like way. a side bedroom on the left, like on the left hand wing. So if you guys stayed like in the back or the right, you'd probably be able to avoid whatever it was. I I would say not to stay in at all. I don't want to stay in the house. There's a, a creature going to come back. I'm, I'm sure it's fine. How, how, big, how big are the eggs? How big are the eggs? Uh, well, you can't see me, can you? Half the size no. of an ostrich egg. Half the size of an ostrich egg. So it's probably quite big. An ostrich can get quite big. I mean, it could oh, be a sure really big fine. duck. A really big duck. Be a chocobo? Yeah. Oh my god. Chocobo? There are chocobos in this world. Oh, <laughs> you don't know I being... homebrewed this. Oh, right. Exactly. It could be. Alright, what do you guys want to do? Um, I, I don't want to stare. Who could go lay down? Sir Hadrian <laughs> finds a bedroom on the right hand side of the house and just lays down in the bed. Gonna take my bedroll out and go to bed. It's time to get some sleep. Little did we know the house was infested with mutant silverfish the size of cocker spaniels. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, well you know. Can you imagine? What's the plan? Uh, I'm I'm gonna. Is is there an attic? Nope, it's one story. Okay. Uh, it's one story. It's pretty, like, expansive. Like, it's got a big footprint. So I could sleep on the roof. Yeah, you could <laughs> sleep on the roof. I'm going to sleep on the roof. In the rain. It's not How raining, you... is it? Why, why are we sleeping in a house as a creature that is missing? How are you going to get up to the roof? Jump. Climb. I'm, I'm quite a nimble act. Okay, I, I, make, I make, a, something... make an a uh, acrobatics check. Or athletics, whichever one you you prefer. Yeah, you can make it up to the roof. 
Oh, just one front flip. You, man you managed to find a, a large tree that's been growing relatively close. You uh, work your way up the tree and jump up onto the roof. From up here, you get a uh, pretty good view of the area. You definitely see the uh, the layout of the town, mostly uh, large villas with some other small buildings intermingled with them. And you can also see the uh, that path that led up the cliff face into the mountains. It seems to lead towards the, the waterfall. Okay. Well, I'm going to roll out my bedroll. Get my uh, extra blanket out and things. Okay. Just get comfy up here. So are you going to stay watch the whole night? Or are you going to sleep up there? I'm gonna, I've got my bedroll out, so I'll sleep at one point. Alright, is anybody else going to take a watch? Or are we just going to do, like, half a watch? I'll say Tyburn takes the other half. He'll, he usually volunteers. Hmm. Alright, so. I'm used to having my squire do that for me. <laughs> Yeah, you're past you're past the fuck out. So, uh, you want to take the first watch or the second watch, Arlux? I'll take first. Take first. So you, um, sun goes down, temperature drops a little bit. You're kind of in in the mountains now. There's a large waterfall right there. It's substantially cooler than it was like out on the open plains up near Ostia. Some birds go by, startle you a little bit, yeah. and. Uh, <laughs> You think for a moment, maybe you saw some movement over at the edge of the small town. Then it's gone, and it passes, and you see nothing else during your watch. Uh, eventually, uh, Ty you see Tyburn's head appear at the the base of the building below you. He calls up to you that uh, he'll take watch, and he just seems to hunker down on the steps in the front of the house and go to sleep. Okay. The night passes uneventfully. Tybird wakes everybody as the sun starts to rise. In my house, if I'm gonna mumble why they did, my squire didn't ask my why my squire didn't wake me up for a second watch. It's kind of uh, why didn't you wake me up for a second watch? Oh right, you're fucking alive oh, it's, it's, except for princess. It, yeah. <laughs> Where's Princess, damn it? Alright, what's the plan, guys? I'm gonna get off the roof. Um, <laughs> gonna ask Arlok's, uh, Arlok's where he's Arlok's going. definitely hops down from the roof with his with his gears, comes back to the house. Um, uh, just... I, I, I think we're gonna go up to that waterfall, the, take that second path. Right. Uh, then I'm gonna leave my horse down here. Get leave okay. Princess down here, kind of. You're gonna leave Princess down. Tied up, so did, so she did can we move bring around and eat. But did you bring what? Horses, to smugglers run. Uh, I don't remember anybody saying that they that you guys were gonna ride your horses down here. Okay, I didn't. So because I, I, I thought I thought I remembered you guys. Uh, uh, talking about it, but deciding to leave him behind. And I don't know why, but Cosmo just froze with this like shit eating grin on his face. I gotta refresh him. <laughs> this is like you got that like you stupid son of a bitch look on your face, frozen right <laughs> right on <of> my screen. <laughs> All right, we're refreshed now. There we go. That's better. All right, so what's the plan, guys? <laughs> Roach does not look amused. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna just say to the party, oh. Uh, I think most likely the thing we're looking for is up that second path towards the waterfall. What, what, what are we looking for? You're looking for a headdress. Is what you were asked to uh, what you were asked to acquire. Right. Well, no time like the present. Okay. So you guys make your way back through the town uh, and double back on the path, and it it starts heading up pretty steeply along the cliff face. So on on the right side you've got basically a sheer cliff in, in, in the mountains. And on the left side, you've got a, uh, a drop-off that's slowly getting higher and higher with the town below you. You can see, like, um, what looked like a, a post sheared off at the base in the ground where maybe there had been a fence at some place because they're placed pretty evenly, uh, uh, dug down into the ground, but there, there's no fence. There's just the stubs of these rotted-away posts left there. It takes a pretty the, the you you follow start following the path and it takes a pretty sheer turn off to the right hand side for a while 
uh, and kind of goes through a little, a couple bends in the, in the mountains, and you lose sight of the town for a, for, for 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 just a few minutes. But then it swings back to the left, and uh, as you come around the bend, you can see that you can see the town maybe ninety feet below you. On the left, you see the banner that uh, that that villa you stayed in, uh, and then in about twenty feet in front of you, there seems to have been a landslide, and there's just a sh- the path is completely blocked by fallen rocks. Do the rocks look climbable? It's possible. The landslide oh. is is uh, on the left hand side where it, it goes down towards uh, the drop off. Seems to be piled up about 15, 20 feet, and then on the side where it's propped up against the mountain, it's about 30, 35 feet. So it's this like lopsided thing. It's not completely vertical, but it would be. It's very like it's it's a lot of large stones and loose stones. Right. Huh. What do you guys want to do about this? Well, we could either clear it somehow. Cost one, blow it up. Yeah. Or we I could, could do fire. that. <laughs> if you blow it up, it'd probably make just cause another one. Yeah, that's the issue. I could blow it up multiple times. <laughs> okay. Um does it look like that the um landslide was caused by anything like wet weather or like, or is it more of a mud out of an egg about that big? <laughs> uh, do a do, you could do a uh, like an investigation or a perception check on it see if you could suss out what's going on here. Uh, the area around you looks pretty steady. Uh, you look up the cliff face, and you can see that there is there was like a, a like a plateau that seems to have sheared off, and and just come cascading down. Okay. It's like there's a, there, there there was some area up there, uh, and there might still be a little spot up there that somebody could stand on, but it seems like most of it is just like like the underside of it maybe had uh, eroded away and came crashing down the mountain. I'm gonna give it a go shifting it. You're just gonna start but, moving rocks? No, 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 no. I'm gonna get everyone to stand back. All right. And how many months would you like to spend moving rocks? <laughs> and I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use one of my cantrips. Okay. What are we doing? Is it... Oh my. <laughs> All right. So, um, you go up to it and. Uh, I, I, I don't I don't know. You're just doing like a rock and roll, like bang. <laughs> no, it's thunderclap. I just go whoop bang. All um, right. So uh, your thunderclap echoes off the sides of the mountains, and th- there's there's some shifting in front of you. Like some of the stuff in front of you just kind of like just shifts down, and as the uh, the thunderclap echoes, you just hear it like reverberating out through uh throughout the caverns you can see another another small section of that plateau far up just crumbles a little bit you've moved stone but not necessarily out of the way okay should have used thunder wave i've got that if i if you want me to i mean that one actually moves things thunderclap okay. is kind you, of just you've got sound. J- j- just to keep this this in perspective you got probably thousands of tons of rock in front of you like individual and, boulders that may weigh hundreds of tons blocking the path. It, and it looks like you might have started something more. Like like, like the, the stuff in front of you just like, you, you know, the like vibrated down a little bit. And then the st- some of the stuff up on the plateau did cascade down a little. Nothing major. It doesn't seem to have changed the, the outlook too much, though. Is there any alternative routes? There's there's forward and back. There's down a hundred feet into the town, and there's up as far as you can see into the mountains on the right. I mean, I, I guess we're going over it. it. Yeah, I could definitely climb it or fly over it, depending on which one I fancy. No, I guess I have my really spider to, to trying to, to climbing over this. All right, I'll go first. Are you just uh, just gonna climb it? Yeah. All right, so athletics, acrobatics. 
Oof. You make it about halfway up um, on towards the left side, and then you know you grab a handhold and just it comes out right in your hand and you just poof, falls flat on your back. You don't take any damage, but you get the wind knocked out of you, and you fell like right on the edge mm. of the path. Uh, this, this does not it's look very good. loose. Yeah, I could use my spider shoes. Does it help me get grips and stuff? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Wow. But that's only one person. Perry, Perry you could walk. You, you you could basically walk up that at normal speed. So you, in, in a few seconds, you could be at the top with your with your shoes. But that's just me then. We need everyone else to get across. Well, uh, maybe I will you can see something on the other side. Once you get over, I will attempt to follow. You might see something to help us on the other side. Plus, can you put fly on other people? Or is it just yourself? I can put fly on, but I can only use it once. Oh, so once in the whole day. He can day. cast it on yeah. other people, but he can only use it ah. once per day. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I'll, well, I do have can... another idea of what I could do. Well, here, uh, you I, hear Tybird say to himself, Helm helps those who help themselves. And uh, Ray. he starts climbing up. I'm going to use my shoes. and uh... So uh, Tybur gets a few feet up, and Perry, you just your, your boots seem to like stick unnaturally to it. And you, you just, you know, with barely any use of your hands, you just clamber right up to the top. I'm going to wait for Tyburn to get to the top if he makes it so there's not two people trying to climb up the shifting rocks and stuff all right uh you said tyburn um gets a few feet few feet Over. further up and then another loose that he hits his foot on a loose rock and he just falls about eight feet down straight onto his back and just poof, a little big cloud of dust underneath him he just rolled a one on that oh Oh. Did you say athletics? Athletics or athletics? acrobatics? Either one would do. You're doing it with disadvantage. You're wearing heavy armor. Okay. Still rolled a twenty. No, Jesus <laughs> Christ! Sheer, sheer muscle mass. You don't have you. you uh, you're able to identify the loose, the loose bits of the wall and avoid them, and just muscle your way straight up to the top. So you're up there with, uh, with NGP now. It's, it's a little unsettling because you're, you're, you know, you're already about 80, 100 feet above the, the town, and now you're another 20 or 30 feet up on top of a loose pile of rubble, just like looking down there. Can I see anything on the other side? Uh, like just right on over. Yeah, just like where we're going to be. You can see that the path uh, curves and winds very steeply at this point, and then disappears behind the waterfall. Right, and then how much room is up on top of it, where we're me and uh, Perry are? Uh, the path is about ten feet wide, and then you're standing on the top of it. It's just a rough pile of rubble, so you know everybody could stand up there shoulder to shoulder, but you know. There's not right, a lot of room gonna, to maneuver or anything like that. Then I'm going to get down on the other side. All right. So you clamber your way down to the other side. Uh, do another one. Shit. Uh, it, you, you take a couple steps and then uh, stumble on some loose rubble and just boom, fall all the way down. And let's see. Take 14 points of bludgeoning damage as you fall towards the ground and slam with a large clatter of your your heavy armor. That I'm was, gonna call up to Parry. Is he okay? That was, that was those were some really rough rolls out of D6. Ow! <laughs> you just hear Hadrian from the other side <laughs> coughing and sputtering and in pain. So Hadrian's on the other side, Perry's at the top, Tyburn fell down on this side. Ah, uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shout back to Alex. I go, I think he's okay, and I'm gonna <laughs> pop down and help him. All right, you <laughs> make another. Uh, well, you you don't have to make a check. You got the spider boots, so you just easily walk down the other side and 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 help Hadrian up. Seems to be, you know, he's got a little blood coming out from his from his lips. It's a little, he's a little on the injured side. 
No, now if only you had a way uh, to pass the boat. At this point, you over. guys, you guys can hear what sounds like, like slow rhythmic footfalls coming from, um, the like like, like back where you came from, heading into town. Just, and then in a few seconds, a few seconds later. Oh no, they've bought a cave drum. <laughs> 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 right, I'm gonna start climbing these uh, rocks. Alright, give me a check. Athletics or acrobatics? Acrobatics! A little bit, with a little bit of difficulty, you lose your handholds once or twice on your way up there. Uh, you manage to make it to the top. And I'm gonna go down the other side. And one more. With advantage on this one, yeah, you're fine. You definitely you you like you, you like do like cartwheels down the other side. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I get halfway really down showing and just off. Uh, just a uh, front flip. The other thing. just boom, land right Son next to Sir Hadrian. Bitch. Uh, very lightly. Son of a bitch. Coswin is and Tyburn are left alone on the other side. Can we see the town? Oh, yeah, shit. yeah, it's 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 down on your left. It's, 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 uh, if you're facing the direction of travel, it's down about a hundred feet on your left, and you can see the whole thing. Like, can I make sure my horse is still alive? Yeah, Princess is still there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna follow them. Give me a check. Yeah. It with, only hurts a little. With with, with undue grace. Coswin manages to scurry his way to the top. And you are standing on top of the precipice now, looking down at Tyburn, sadly, meekly on the other side. Alright, I go back. I, I go down, you know, towards the rest of the party. Okay, give me another check to see if we get down with advantage, because you're on the way down. You're not wearing heavy armor or anything. Yeah, you're fine. Tyburn, you're coming over? <laughs> you hear Tyburn go, Throw me a rope! I throw him a rope over. So, uh, you, uh, you hold on to the rope, and then after a few seconds, you hear, uh, you, you feel it go tense, and, you know, you know Tyburn's a good deal heavier than you, so... Start you Somebody help your, me? You brace your feet uh, I, first. I'll, I'll grab onto it, right. too. Hadrian comes up behind you, just grabs you around, around like, the midsection, hauls you back, and you can feel just the him. rope tug as, as Tyburn climbs up the other side. You see his head appear up at the top, and then he... Scrambles back down. Cool. Now, where is that heavy footfall coming from? It's coming from, uh, 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 uh retrograde from the direction of travel, away from from beh behind you guys. And you can you can you can still hear them, just an occasional, and then another. Hmm. What's the plan? Continue up the road. All right. It looks like it'll take you just a few more minutes to get to where the the path disappears behind the the waterfall. Okay. Sounds Are we good. worried I'm about that noise? Constantly be looking behind me. Yeah. Uh, roll a perception check, uh, Hadrian. All right, so you, you're occasionally glancing over your shoulder, and you do it once, and you look down, and Princess, you see Princess mewing about near the house. Then you, you walk for another minute, you look behind you, and you look at Princess, she's still down there. The third time you look behind you, you know, you just gotten used to it at this point. You're like, okay, there's nothing. And then you see what appears to be a very large humanoid form walking through, like, into the town below you guys. Um... Uh, it appears to be yes. 15 to 20 feet tall, very tanned, leathery skin, very large humanoid figure, just very slowly, very ponderously walking into the town. That's I a giant. Going to point it out to, to the rest of the group and contemplate going back. <laughs> Oh, your horse is probably going to be in trouble. Yeah. 
Because I thought it was you to the horse. <laughs> you guys can all see it. There, there is a very large figure moving into the town. How far away is it? You guys, let's see. Let's do some trigonometry. You guys are 120 feet up by this point. The town's down below you. It's probably a mm, thousand to twelve hundred feet away. Okay. How big is it? 15 feet? 15, 20 feet tall. Might weigh thousands of pounds. Hey, so if it is, yeah, something like a giant or something, it might... Get, I guess they might eat the horse? I Giants eat horses? I will feed you to it before it eats my horse. I mean, you can't if you're not near it. I mean, we're kind of over here now. Yeah, it's like, we, we can't just go fight a giant, can we? I mean, we could, but by the time we're down there, it might be gone. It would have been pointless. Got back, yeah, it's probably going to eat a eaten, princess. My horse dies. You owe me a new war horse. Hey, Let, I, let's you carry left on. it. <laughs> well, it's not like I could bring it up here. I should have thought about that. Let's go. I'm gonna continue on right. forward. Okay. Yeah. Yes. You guys make your way uh, towards where the the path curves along uh, behind the waterfall. It's a very large. It's 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 not very. The waterfall's not terribly wide. It's maybe only twenty feet wide, but there is a very large like preponderance of water coming over it. It's very like volumetric. Um, so a pretty, it obscures pretty heavily um, anything on the other side of it. And when you guys come around the path, you can see that there seems to be a, a set of ornate stone doors that are ajar. Are ajar? Yeah. Okay. Like uh, one seems to be one. One of them seems to be cracked open just a little bit, and the other one's cracked open like a few feet, and they open inwards. So are the carvings uh, recognizable? They do uh, do a perception check. Yeah, relatively, they seem to be um, pretty stereotypical of um, uh, like old empire carvings. You okay. Can, and it seems to be some sort of uh, uh, tomb or catacombs, some so some place of rest. This looks like the place. Gonna double check for traps as well. Okay. Do a do an investigation check on the door. Oh, okay. Hold up. Oh, fire. Seems clear. Right. Let's get this over with. Okay. I'm gonna go forward. Okay. I gotta gotta move you guys in steps again. I believe this is the one. Hey, look, it's Borgvard. Cleaned up. <laughs> what? Alright, is everybody... Let me see. I don't remember if I put light on this one. Enforce light aside. Don't look around. Oh, ah, no. there we go. The saw things. You have, you have Rebecca in there. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. Die, bitch. <laughs> <gasps> um, I'm gonna cast... Immediately cast light on my ring... Okay, so let me give you some. Tyburn would also immediately cast light on Ty himself. Tyburn would immediately do that too. My god, <laughs> I'm having weird deja vu, but for. Tyburn casts, uh. Here's Tyburn speaking to himself, and he, uh, casts light on his, on his pendant. Look at that, all the humans know the same party trick. <laughs> uh, as you guys step inside, um,. You immediately, uh, you immediately notice the change in atmosphere. It smells uh, musty. It smells old. Um, the the like fresh summer breeze and the you know that that spray from the waterfall is gone. It's much. You didn't really notice the difference. You know how pleasant the area was until you were out of it. But it was it's very pleasant outside. Very old and musty on the inside. It smells like you know like old paper. 
You guys have control of your tokens. Mm. I should probably change the sound. Uh. I'm gonna ask Artlocks what we're, what it looks like that we're looking for. It's a headdress. <laughs> Immediately, what you guys can see in front of you, it seems to be two bodies laid to rest and what may be some, some offerings left there, too. Do we have any uh, idea, gonna... like, what to expect here? Of course not. Um, I'm going to search, gonna search for the headdress and anything else. Just look and see what's around in those crates or whatever's in that um, corner the the bodies that are laid out seem to be several years old at least um they've uh, definitely dried quite a bit the skin has sunken down over the bones the 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 softness of the eyes have rotted away the offerings seem to have been uh maybe what would have been um uh food and dishes things like that not anything of any particular value though yeah. okay well let's get going And I'm just gonna keep. I'm gonna drag Tyburn behind you guys so that the light kind of stays with you. Or what I could do is I could group two people together with Tyburn so he just follows them around. Uh, it kind of splits here. Which way do you guys want to go? Left. Um, Left. Okay. I mean, that's how you get through a maze, right? You always take left. You always take the left uh, path. I always take the right, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so as you guys enter this, this next chamber, you can immediately notice that there are... Th think of these like the, the catacombs underneath Paris. is just bones of thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people piled up in neat, orderly stacks. Ben, could I, could I sense uh, evil? Uh, yeah, go ahead. And uh, you don't have to roll for that. You just sense it, correct? Yeah. All right. So uh, Perry, for a second there, he he stops uh, in the middle of this room, grabs his little pendant, and you just you close your eyes for a second, and immediately they shoot open, and you can definitely sense that there is evil, something evil, pretty close by, to you right now. Guys, that's st the stench of evil. Yeah, you can you can you can smell. It's like acrid on your nostrils. Pretty strong. Ooh. Can't be far away. Be careful. Okay. Everybody draw your weapons. I draw a loot. <laughs> 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 to be fair, it's like my best offensive weapon. <laughs> he draws his guitar. <laughs> guys, now, 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 there's now, a couple now, of rooms now. here. Um, well, you know, one room seems to be completely filled with like leg bones. One seems to be completely filled with arm. They're all orderly organized in front of you and uh, down the path in front of you you can hear like shuffling shuffling mm. yeah just like the very faint sound of shuffling oh I can see something ahead of us I can barely see it looks to be a mummy what? thing is a mummy in front of me oh nah. I can see it <laughs> Has it seen us? I it just, it seems so. to be just slowly like shuffling. Hold on, let's ask him. <gasps> no. Does anyone have? Does anyone have a long distance weapon they can hit it with? Maybe. Yeah. Tyburn does. I got. Well, Tyburn's an operator short, with that crossbow. Short distance weapon because he's only like. So I shoot it then. I mean, I have. Uh, a if I remember the last time we fought them, piercing damage didn't do much. I'm going to ask Artlox, are we going to fight All this All right, thing? you guys did fight a mommy. Yeah. Yeah, so you would be at least somewhat... Uh, so, so we're going to engage yeah, done, this you, thing, right? You, you've done... If this, if that's what you think is in front right. of you. Um, Coswin, have you got any more oil flasks? Oil can. Um... Uh, if you've got any check. oil flasks, I'll give you... I have the, one. 
if I'll give you the cloak of invisibility, invisibility, you light that son of a bitch on fire. I uh, could do uh, that right now, though, without an oil flask. Are we? Yeah, I was gonna say, are we gonna do this right now? Because I'll Look, just freeze the motherfucker. You could emulate the guy, but and keep him burning is what I'm saying. I know I can do that. Though. Oh, okay, just do that then. Oh, give me the give me the cloak of invisibility. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Hey, sweetie. What are you doing? Is that Penny? That, that's a very. No, that that was that was not Penny. That was that was okay. a dog. <laughs> right. All right. Well. So, so does, what's the uh, plan, guys? Does our uh, pass me the cloak? From yes, the I have. Ro Roach, you feel something on your shoulder and look over. You see Coswin has taken out his crossbow and is using you to steady it. But wait a second, doesn't the doesn't a crossbow's bow actually fold backwards? So if you're resting it on my shoulder, wouldn't that smack me in the back of the neck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um right. So we, we don't we can wait. I can I can blow this fucker up. Yeah. I, just, well, <laughs> I can I need payment I can from our Freeze it in the I can make it slow. It's moving. <laughs> just Cosmin, go. Alright. No, it's coming. It's coming this way. Everybody All right. stay still. So I'm going to uh I'm going to use a scorching ray okay. on it. Okay. I am going to twin that son of a bitch. And uh I think I'm gonna hold back on Tides of Chaos for, <laughs> okay. for oh, first good. time for everything. It's a mummy. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Why'd you need the cloak of invisibility then? Because you promised well, that... it. Because <laughs> you said I could take it. <laughs> because because that was a potential. I was a potential way I could be paid for doing this, and that's you know. <laughs> Coswin has a price sheet for all of his spells, and we'll give you an, uh, a breakdown oh, at the end of wow. each adventuring day. Everyone first gets... one, first one was really fucking good. Wait, how did you set that up? Uh, I'm sorry, yeah. this has, this is a side thing, but no, yeah, fine. I'll, I'll tell you guys. I'll get. I'll, I'll do it later. Um, okay. Every one of them hit, even the 14 and 13. It's a mummy. Right. Okay, so first one. Second nine one. Fire damage. Uh, Third nine, one. Eight, eight, ten, six. Alrighty, so that's. That's hopefully dead. Uh, just offhandly, I'm just hope that didn't have the headdress on it. Yeah, I, I remember the um, the uh, mummy ep episode of um, Roach's campaign well because Where it was we the one with the fucking hands. We were all just standing around it, like curb stopping it. It's just, it is no, just like, mm. it was the hands, the crawling hands, just mm. going past doorways. At, oh like, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about oh. this. Well, what I, 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 if I remember correctly, like Roach didn't realize that we would see them zooming, and every once in a while we'd just be like, "Oh God!" and he'd be like, "Oh, this is great! I love it." <laughs> <laughs> it was. I was. <laughs> yeah, I know. He didn't think I'd seen them, and right, then so you see, when he knew I'd seen them, he started doing he used it, to it a lot. Yeah. yeah. So you guys, uh, the bum the mummy seems to be just like kind of shuffling around in a circle. Uh, and it kind of it, it makes one of its turn and goes to turn away from you guys. <laughs> and and Coswin just 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 does his Gatling gun of <laughs> of, <laughs> of scorching rays. Every single one of them just slams into the thing, and you see parts of its its uh, dried flesh just immediately in, incinerate, and all of its uh, wrappings just go up in flames. And if it could make noise, you think it would be because you could see its jaw just like unnaturally dehinge and like go unnaturally wide and turns towards you guys. You did, if I if I did that math correctly, 50 points of fire damage to the thing. It is completely immolated, but it is not down just yet. <laughs> Coswin uh, just like blows into the smoking bit, like tip of, of a statue. <laughs> <laughs> Um, All right. Um, because um, okay, j j just because this thing is almost dead, I'm gonna have it roll initiative, and if it rolls really low, low, then anybody else can just roll an attack on it. If it rolls really high, then we'll go with it. Okay. Uh, it rolled a one, so yeah, anybody else can roll an attack. Okay, I'm gonna step in front of um, 
uh, the Sahadrin and throw the javelin of lightning at it. Oof. No, <laughs> that's so that's such a waste. Why? Why? What do you mean? He, the whole reason he's getting the you're getting the first attack without having to roll initiative is because it's so close to death. <laughs> like I oh, know I was gonna say let me just go bash him with my sword. Just go hit okay. him. Okay. Well, okay. The, the lightning javelin is is that like a recharge thing at the beginning of the day? He just pick it up again and use it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, fucking do that. That's so it, awesome. it like it gets one use in combat usually because to go get it because I'd have, have to, like, to go run get around it. the edge, pick it up, and throw it again. But it doesn't. Do I like, hit? It just it just uses he whatever he uses it. It does its thing. It doesn't have charges or anything. Uh no! Surprisingly, that misses. Fair enough. So so uh, Coswin, you just oh, you you decimate this thing, and just, <laughs> just it, you can see it. bits of flesh falling off and incinerating, and the room filling with smoke, and you're just sitting there like, <laughs> like triumphant in victory. Artlox pushes you as uh, Sir Hadrian aside, steps in front of him, like does one of those like n l l like flips with the javelin, and whoo, it turns, it just tr immediately transforms into lightning, and just cling. You see it like. Just, just thread the needle of a bunch of bones sitting on the opposite side of the room. It does do lightning damage to anything in a ten foot, you know, radius as it goes past. Um, so, nah. what was the the damage, the lightning damage for uh, for you know the, the the area damage? Okay, you see some of those sparks just kind of bzz, 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 <laughs> along the mummy, this but it doesn't thing. seem to have doesn't seem to have done too much. And our Arla is just left there, blinking. I also think I think it's resistant to lightning damage. Oh yeah, I can remember that. But I'm gonna step back and. All right. Anybody else want to have a go at this? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm just gonna walk up to it calmly All right. and. All right. And... So you just walk right up to the thing as it's it's as it's you know you know burning in front of you. That hits. He just walks right up to the thing, takes out a sword, and with a like a half-hearted swipe, just you see the, uh, the the mummy. He like cleaves through the clavicle uh, with ease, and you see the the sword just right through onto the other side, and the mummy just slumps into two pieces on the ground. And you see the the smoldering, and you know as a lot of the wraps have burned away, you see the smoldering start to calm down. Arlox, you picking up that javelin? Yeah. Okay, um, you retrieve your javelin. Gonna search the body <laughs> for that. FYI, it had an AC of 11. Oh! <laughs> I just missed it. Oh, shit. It had an AC of 11 and only 58 hit points, and you did 50 points of fire damage on the first hit, so. <laughs> yeah, Cosmo's getting a, Cosmo's getting a, a, bit, a, a bit OP. <laughs> but that was. Uh, Mumby's only a CR3 monster, and you're level 5, so. Yeah, but that's when that, that when everything damage. when everything hits from Alpha from Cosmo's Alpha Strike. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hang on one second, guys. I got to turn all the fans in my office on because it's already starting to warm up in here. I didn't understand a word he just said. Turning on the fans in his office because it's getting fucking hot. Okay. Are you sure okay. he wasn't turning it off because it was getting cold? <laughs> in Florida. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. Touche is the the place in the world where someone threw an alligator through a McDonald's drive through Also, where we where we have the world's first zombie. <laughs> Wait, what? It, uh, you know the uh, the bath salt zombie. Right. Nope, don't know that. All right, guys. Really? All right. Oh. Where to next? Or Does it have the headdress? I'm gonna search it, see if it has a headdress. All right, do it in investigation <laughs> check. What's left dead, of it. it doesn't have it now. You take the like the point of your sword, and it's mostly just it's it's like bone in in a pile of ash at this point, and start sifting you know, like like lightly sifting through it, poking at it, and it doesn't seem to have had anything anything material on it. Searching the room, uh, not only yeah. for the headdress but just for valuables. Okay, go ahead oh, and search. I just realized I could have rerolled one of my my die for my my attack. Or oh, for you, my damage. Oh, well, she! You killed it, so you didn't need to. Yeah, I know. I'm just getting. Way. I'm just getting used to the like the 
the Mechanics. things I can do. Costa, yeah. you you uh you roughly start uh you know poking through the bones and you find mostly just like long you know long human bones, uh, tibias and fibias and things like that. But you don't find anything of of value in this room. Should right. Have right. Back up the hall. There See, was no right. It was straight and left. What do you want? Uh, you see Tyburn every once in a while just go over to a pile of bones and deliver a little blessing and then move on. Like he'll go to, he goes to one of these searching. rooms and you hear him muttering under his breath and then he comes back out. Searching this room? Okay. Just bone. Nothing but bones. It's the same with this room. It's just stacks and stacks and stacks of probably thousands of individuals worth of bones, if not more. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get repetitive, but search this room. Same thing. Yeah, we're we're money strapped right now. There's nothing. That, there's no such thing as repetitive. There's just thorough searching. It's for like valuables. when you're playing an RPG. It's like when you're playing Diablo and you're like, I gotta go kick every single one of these barrels to get the few coins out of it. It's like what in Skyrim you when you're at, money strapped. It's like the fabled Skyrim playthrough where you're low on gold. So you have to mm. go through. You have to go through and actually take all the gold. Chase butterflies the for their for their reagents. You actually have to go into the urns and go like, okay, I'll take the gold piece. Jesus, Are you missing <laughs> someone? Oh, Perry, there we go. All the Draugr are just like, okay, there's one in this hanging corpse. It's like the 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 organ bags in Oblivion. It's just like, oh, there's some gold in this one. All right, as you guys step what, forward, the... you notice what appears to be a statue standing in the middle of the hallway. Oh, God. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> God damn it! Everyone's like, oh, against the wall! There's statue? No, no, okay. me, me, me and... Me and oh my. Each other. Gotta make sure we put a mature rating on this. <laughs> there wasn't one already? <laughs> Fuck! Now there is. Where's the, where's the statue? It is, it is right here. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna search th this What room. happens if I blink? Um, does the statue move? Uh, when you blink, you notice that the statue has turned around and is facing you. No, it's just it's just sitting there. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, fire! So, so, what's so, what's so, it a statue of? Uh, well, hang on one second. Um, Hadrian was doing something. Hadrian, I'm, what were you doing? I'm just gonna search these bodies for that headdress. Okay, go ahead. Investigation, right? Yep. Uh, these bodies seem to be a little bit older than the ones you initially initially saw, and uh, you do manage to find a rather fine-looking like signet ring on one of the bodies. I'm going to tell Artlocks and let him decide what he wants to do with it. Okay. What's the signet ring of? Do I know? To, do I recognize the um, emblem? Um, you don't. Hang on a second. I got the notes on this. Written Actually, now. wait. Yeah. Well, here. Can I do a history check on it? Yeah. Sure. See if I recognize. Sure. If not, I've got someone who can identify it for me. You don't recognize it. Um, okay. It's clearly like uh, like an old house uh, sigil. Is it sigil or sigil? I say sigil. 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 sigil? Because I know anybody who watches this will be like, "You pronounced it wrong." Because I don't. People get all butthurt about sigil sigil. Um, it seems Just to gotta be. Got to start um, saying herbs. Herbs. Uh, an aquatic herbs. animal of some sort. You don't rightly recognize it. It is okay. definitely a house symbol of some sort, but not one that you know. I have an old book and a, a, a library, and that maybe I have to take a look at this later. Okay, so, uh, and Perry asked about the statue. The statue appears to be a person. I'll just give it back to Sir Hadrian. It's, uh, it's a statue of a person, about okay, you know, you know, five and a half feet tall, carrying, uh, carrying a satchel and... Um, a, uh, a a sword uh, that's been that that's sheathed and not 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 out and ready just like casually, it's remarkably lifelike. Very good statue. Yeah. Ah, uh, is it like is it like on top of a pedestal? Is it just stood like it's just standing there like mid stride? Ah, uh -oh. seems a bit odd, doesn't uh -oh. it? It's not, not on a pedestal or something. Oh, uh, okay. No, uh -oh. there's no plinth. Um. This might just be someone that was turned to stone, maybe? that That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Is that... Like old stories. What, 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 what was his... shine my shield. He should he again... To... Uh, Is he the running guy... or something? No, he seems to just be, like, in mid-normal, like, walking stride. Right. Um, gonna pull out my shield and... 
my Warhammer and then move forward. Okay. Okay, everyone stay behind. Let's be careful. Remember, I did sense evil. It might not just be the mummy here. The mummies are dead. Mummy was definitely evil. <laughs> I've got my shield up as well. These are just all more right. piles of bones. Yep. Yep. The set in insets on the wall. I'm gonna peek around the corner. Did it? You, you, you don't see anything. Peek around the corner, did it? <laughs> uh, I'm lost. <laughs> okay, so we can go north um, on that room. From from this point where you're standing, you can hear what sounds like um. Like uh, kind of like scratchy footfalls and like like sniffing. Like, can I can I tell which from which direction? Seems to be coming from. Like... Seems, seems to be coming from the north. Okay. Sniffing. Yeah, like mm. like like and like a you, you know you know like a dog sniffing for something like looking for something. There's a statue. Hey. There is a statue there. Yeah. You you step up, uh, Sir Hadrian, and you notice that in front of you there is a very uh, large, ornate statue. This one is on a plinth, and it seems to be like a heroic warrior pose. Right. Any identifiable features about the warrior? It's pretty generic. There's right. no symbols on it. There's not like any. Um, it, it's a very. It, it looks like something that you you'd buy. You know, you, you know, if you went to like like Walmart and went outside, not Walmart, but Lowe's and went outside, and you know, there's all that outside patio stuff. Like you mm -hmm. find it next to a bird bath and some lawn chairs. Okay. Okay. Can I search the the tombs in here quickly? Yes, you can do one roll for searching everything. Investigation. Investigation. All right, make a deck saving throw. Cool. Saving throw deck. As you step forward off the steps, the second your foot leaves the uh, leave this the staircase and uh, and, and falls forward, a uh, a bolt of uh, of like magical energy seems to emanate from the the chest of of the statue. It blasts the statue apart as it goes off, and the um, uh, the the stone goes shattering uh, all across the walls, and you see just see this kind of like dark green ray of energy shoot at you you kind of see it in slow motion and your eyes go wide and you do one of these like like right off to the side and now i need hatred coswin and perry to also make dexterity saving throws ah and, okay my dexterity shit oh, oh no nah. <laughs> So uh, Art Art sw uh, like, like just like, like like zooms off to the side. Same same Had Hadrian and Coswood both just duck out of the fucking way, and then Perry's just like standing there looking around and just What's blasts that? him straight into the chest. You 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 kind of like stumble backwards, and you take uh, hang on a sec here. Uh, two 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 two. It's all right. Looking for looking for the the right die here. What's funny is I was thinking about doing take eleven for points of necrotic damage. Oh, see, that's not bad. Hadrian oh, took man. fourteen points of damage from falling. Right, uh, it could be a lot worse. I Borgvard took twenty six points of fire damage from the last trap he hit, <laughs> <laughs> and then every single one from then on missed. <laughs> Yeah, no, he took enough, but uh, well, he almost the insta time. died. In yeah, the yeah, he yeah. almost insta died uh, from it. I, I took, I, I will admit, I took enough damage in that to kill my level one character. But Roach was, what was kind enough to go. All right, Ben's an idiot and doesn't really know what's going on here because he's never played this before. So we'll say it just knocked him out. <laughs> he yeah, was a kind. Was she was a kind GM that day. Did Artlock find anything? Uh, no. You certainly. He found it. a trap. He found a trap, that's for certain. But you did not find anything on these. What the hell bodies. are you guys up doing? Wasn't my fault. Reaching uh, clear. And with that, um, Hadrian, we're, 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 as you take a couple steps forward, you see what you, you know, low to the ground. You see a lizard-like head start like like sniffing, like 
poke around the corner. Is that cobalt? And then you see it turn, and it looks down at you, and you, and you, you see these really... It's got thick, like, blue-gray skin and, and really sharp, like, really powerful-looking teeth and jaws and spines that go all the way down the back of it, and you see a set of legs come forward and then a second set, a third set, and a fourth set of legs. It's this, like... This like centipede like lizard uh, steps around the corner, and now I do need everybody to roll. Yeah! On, on, centipede on like one. lizard. That yes. that's horrifying. Hey, while well, while that's going on, uh, my guy is just kind of uh, he's kind of knelt down at the moment, kind of doing that thing. You ever watch Family Guy when Peter like falls over? He's like, <sighs> my guy's kind of just doing that like with his chest. He's kind of like, going... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <sighs> Ah! Um, ah! It, no, it, it, that doesn't go. It's the eighty eighty in the Star Wars ones that, when that does it, gets me on horses. So that just, ah! Plus two. Okay. All right. If this lizard shoots lightning at me, I'm not going to be very happy. Don't know why. It just... All right. Did everybody? Oh, I need to do Tyburn. I'm going to say it's Tyburn got a Godzilla probably. vibe. Barry once again did not actually have his token selected when he clicked initiative. Oh, well, I'll, God I'll damn it. it. I'll fix it. What do you mean once again? That's like the first time I've done that. Normally no. it's talk. Normally it's talk. I, I don't Barry's remember. done it like ever, once before. I remember doing it for ages. So either it was like ages ago. The first, it was probably the Barry's first time I played. Initiative. There we go. Because I don't recall that. And uh, let's see. What did Perry roll? 19. Yep. All right, so... No, 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 19. 19. No, 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 19. So uh, 19. So, Perry, what is your dexterity? What What is the, the, the flat number for that? Dexterity uh, is 14. 14. Okay, so you're going to go first, Perry. Okay. That, I, can't oh, actually, I can't actually see what's going on. <laughs> ben, just to you... let you know, I have hmm. my shield and warhammer out. Okay, you're, you're prepared. I'm, I'm gonna step yeah. one forward so I can see what's going on. Oh, okay. That. Oh, wow. So what? Is, what does this look like again? It's like a. a it's, lizard. It looks like a very large, like, like thickly armored lizard that's got four sets of legs. So it's got these. It's got four legs on each side, propelling it forward. It's got a very uh, large, powerful-looking jaw and like yes. spiky spines that go down the down along its back. It's like okay. Big Godzilla. It's like a monster from my nightmares. Let's go. I'm just going to run past them and jump. You just run past them. You just run past them. Going to get out nudge and just smash it across the face, hopefully. Oh, just hitting it in the face. Okay. Wail on it. Ben? Uh, That is a miss. Well, go for your second so the fir your first your first attack just comes down and you you aim straight for its head, but it just glances off its thickly uh, you know its thick skull and and uh, you know really tough looking hide just glances off to the side. Uppercut, uppercut. It's my second attack. Oh, that one does hit. Oh, you have second attack. That one does hit. Okay, um, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. use smite on this attack. Okay, so that's another two d eight, I believe. Second. <laughs> Put that up. Alright, click that. Okay. So you did 9 and damage and then smite. Yeah, she damages 2d8. So 2d8 uh, was 8. 1. Oh, nice. Very it's good. Not undead. It's, it's not undead, is it? Nope. It could be an undead yeah. lizard. Okay. That's 22 points of damage. Make sure it doesn't have any resistances. I'm ignoring. Okay. All right. So you do 22 points of damage with that second hit. So you aim a little bit more uh, closely, like right, aiming right for the center of uh, of its head. And this time you get it straight in the center, and you can see that you kind of dazed it as that concussive force just like emanates through its body, and it kind of it reels back for a second on its legs, and then it just snarls at you again. I just imagine you hit it. coming down with the first one, it like clinks off, but then he goes bang, uppercut, hits it in the underjaw armor, sort of. Okay, so let's see here. 
It's its turn. All right, so it's just going to try to snap at you with its jaws. It rolled a... Oh, that'd be a 24. I think that hits. Uh, yes. Ouch. Yes. Okay, so that's... Five, eight. Poop. Plus three. So it just clamps down on your arm, Perry, and you take uh, 11 points of piercing damage as it just grabs you and starts, like, thrashing you around. Uh, that yep. makes... That brings us to Sir... That was its whole turn. Sir Hadrian. Yeah, I need... I need you Damn to make it. a constitution saving throw. Who needs to make one? Okay. Nothing happens. It's your turn. Right. Go and, and cleave and... it. Alright, so you run up to the thing. You have advantage on these attacks. Oh, that's a fucking crit! Uh, so that's uh, twelve points of bludgeoning damage. Woo! Yeah, that's what you just run. You just truck yeah. right up to the thing, slam your hammer down into its back, and it, it, it kind of reels back in pain again. It's uh, it's already looking pretty rough. Uh, Art locks, Constitution saving throw. Uh, blah. Okay. Make a Constitution oh, saving throw. Yeah. All right, Art Locks, you go to take a step forward and you realize your feet won't move. You look down and what you see is your both of your feet in mid-motion have started to turn gray and, and look really yes. rough-like. And you find yourself completely un, uh, unable to move forward as you are completely stuck in, stuck in your, your spot. Okay, I'm going to shout, I'm turning to stone! Uh, and... Uh... I'm gonna you are, give you, for the sake of mechanics, you are suffering from the restrained uh, okay. ability. Strange creature's uh, speed becomes zero, and it can't benefit from any bonus to its speed. Attack rolls against the cre creature have advantage. Uh, the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. As okay. disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Oh, shit. My one good saving throw, other than charisma. Um, and I am gonna use Bardic Inspiration on... Um, on Parry. Parry. Right, so Parry has inspiration. Uh, I, that's a bonus action. Can I still shoot? You can still shoot, but it's with disadvantage. Despite the fact that there's two people inflicting advantage on the guy. He's, you, when, you're when shooting. you're shooting, wait, wait, wait. Range restraint, range. restraint only imposes advantage on people hitting him, not disadvantage on him trying to use range attacks. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. That is right off of the the uh, the DM screen. And I mean, yeah, I you don't even say in the way. I don't want to say. You know, agree and or when like, you're, and, take and you're it not, away. You don't get us, advantage but... for um, uh, when you're firing ranged into melee. Yeah, and he has to shoot between two people. We've been, we, we, yeah, we've been, th we've been through this before, and we decided that if you're shooting a range attack into melee attack, the you're not get, you don't suffer, okay. from, you don't get the advantage for that. But restrain does give you disadvantage on. Um, well, I'll just end my turn then. Okay, uh, cost one Constitution saving throw. All right, this is my best one. You are a hardy son of. Oh, you're fucking fine. You look at you look at Artlox and he's a pussy compared to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. The hell's wrong with you, dude? Okay. <laughs> the elf son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I'm of weak so... constitution. <laughs> yeah. No, no shit. Uh, I'm going to do a magic missile cast at third level. Go for it. <laughs> that, wouldn't, that wouldn't do anything. Oh yeah. Well, it's a yeah. Uh, so that's nine, ten, and there's three, right? Yeah, there's three. So it's uh, or hold on a second. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's uh, that's ten and nine. So yeah. Wait, I'm I'm nine is the original magic missile. 
Oh, okay. I was looking at the. I was like and higher level cast. Okay, so yeah, so you do nineteen points of damage to the this creature, and uh, you see the the you just thread the needle between the two melee combatants, just boom, 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 straight into the thing, and it crumples to the ground in front of you. It is dead. Am um, I still stoned? Artlocks, you uh, you feel the the effects start to fade from your body slowly, and you are not restrained anymore. Oh, thank God. <laughs> right. Is there anything of worth on the body? Like it's it's a creature. It doesn't carry armor. It doesn't carry right. I valuables. Mean, but, I mean, do I <laughs> have some knowledge of you know it's the the scales or its teeth or its eyes have value? Do you, of some do you kind? have any? Do you have any? Does anybody have anything that would lend them to know what this is or? Does you it guys, have a loincloth? Well, I, uh, I'm going to say uh, you guys are going to have to correctly identify the beast before I'll say if you know enough about it to harvest it. Artlocks has most likely... Uh, Can I do a history check? Might have heard I, of something uh, close to this because of the fact that he is a bard. And this thing is obviously a great creature of, of danger. And there would be stories of people fighting things like this. I was a sage, so, so I traveled a lot, so I could do a history check. Also, I have nature. So. Travels. Um, you're you're Roach. You're trained in nature. I'm not trained in it, but I lived in the forest for a couple of years. And Artlocks, you you want to try to identify it through some means? Let me check the songbook. Um, no, I mean, uh, just, just, just keep it's keep in mind. Important. Use you using. I heard it in a song. Is going to make for a pretty high DC. On on, ben. On, on on identifying stuff. Or, could I do? Uh, you could do. You could do. Are you trained in history? Well, no, because my guy was this. Is the sage the sage the one where he like traveled the you know around and stuff? So I think maybe from his travels you might have heard about one or something or seen seen one. No, I'll allow that. Art locks. You could try again, but you know, you you could try as well. What what, what, what I do check do you want for me, Ben? You could do a history check as well. I don't know. Very, you're <laughs> fucking trained bad. in history. <laughs> um, Artlocks, uh, you, you you don't maybe necessarily know what it is on site, but the effect that it had on you um, puts a pretty good, pretty good idea of what it could possibly be in your head. You think this could possibly be a basilisk? Oh, oh God! I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that I think it's a basilisk. Well, as a uh, as a trained magical practitioner, uh, would I know of any basilisk, uh, basilisk parts, components, fangs. components fangs? that would yeah. be invaluable um, for its its digestive uh, fluids are used in uh, petrif in, in, in like anti petrification potions. It's used to uh, cure people that have been petri petrified. Um, like it doesn't have scales. It's more it's more of like a leathery skin. So. I mean, you, you could get Basculith leather out of it. Its teeth aren't necessarily that impressive. They're um, they're rough and stony looking. And its spines are more there for uh, for decoration than anything else. So if you wanted to, you could try to harvest like its, its like bile, like its digestive fluids or its skin. All right, we need its bile and its skin. All right, who, right. who's going to be best at... Uh, Har doing a harvesting check. What what does harvesting depends on what the check is. God damn it! Hang on, let me. Sorry, this hasn't come up yet. Let me see what this could possibly be. Is it wearing a loincloth? It is not wearing a loincloth. <laughs> oh yeah, it's literally. Not, not got one of those in a while. Always tra chasing bad guys with no loincloths. What's the point? Giants were going boss. Hmm. Apparently, a new D and D books coming out. You're gonna have to go kill that giant for Perry. He's gonna oh, Sanders Guide to reading. Everything book is coming out for D and D. Hmm. There's a what? There's a there's a new book for D and D coming out in uh, a few a uh, month or two. Oh, I'm gonna say anybody who's trained in nature. Can make an attempt to harvest it. Nature. It's my nature wrong. I'm not good at nature. I'm not. 
You say, it's not if you're good. Do you have a pip in nature? Do you have I trained? Want, no, nope. I, no, I'm not trained, no. I'm not proficient, but I, I, I have training in everything because of my tra <laughs> jack of all you trades. You can try with disadvantage. Well, uh... Pretty cool skill. Yeah, I've got at least a plus two to it. Nature is an intelligence-based check, and I'm I'm saying this is something that you're you're going huh. to, you're trying to harvest an animal's parts, which definitely seems to be an intelligence-based check. Who's the smartest I'm, in the party? What's your scores? I'm trained in 12, Arcana. Seventeen. Wow. Actually, it would make sense for Sir Hadrian to do it because he's the most apt with a blade, and apparently the smartest. <laughs> So you can check, but because we're not trained in this, we're doing it with disadvantage. We'll do two. We'll do two checks. We'll do one for the skin, and then one for its bile. Can we assist in any way? Uh, check. Check Tyburn's. Uh, check Tyburn's spell he's, list, Ben. He's uh, his spell list. What are you? What are you looking for? Yeah, because he has spells that can impart uh, bonuses to any skill oh. rolls and things like that. And. Oh, Artlocks can give. Uh, you can cast guidance. Uh, it adds a one d four to an ability check. What about bless? Uh, he has bless. Bless I mean, up to three creatures of your choice within range. Whenever a target makes an attack roll, no, it's the, that's attack roll. I was gonna say throw. save, save, save like bless and stuff for. Guidance is a cantrip, um, so yeah, it's not a cost of anything. And it, and it could add sure. to a ability check. So I'll have I'll say Tyburn um, goes up to you, Sir Hadrian. He he just grasps your shoulder and casts guidance on you. You can add a one d four to one of the rolls. Well, Jumping. it's a can it's a cantrip, so you can do it as many times as he wants. Yeah, so you could oh. just we could just take a minute. So, yeah. And Artlocks, you could also give uh, Bardic Inspiration to Sir Hadrian. Yeah, I only this have is... a very limited amount of uses for those. This uh, is money. It's not that important. It's not that important. We'll just go with the, the guidance. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Before we try and get this thing's stomach fluid out, do we have a jar or anything to put it in? That is smart. I was no. just going to go for the skin. Give me a second. Uh, there, um, when you guys came in, there were some, like, jugs and stuff. Uh, well, how big is this creature? Like and how it's much? A, it's a medium-sized creature, so it may it might weigh like two hundred pounds. Well, okay, um, stomach bile is only going to be like yeah, you're going to be getting a mason ounces. jar's worth out of it. Even yeah. even not even that. All there, right, there are so, jugs. Uh, there there are jugs, but they're like a hog's head yeah. sized. Cosman takes out his uh, oil flask and uh, I don't know. I go off to the corner and I pop the uh, pop the cork on the oil flask and just dump it uh, in the corner. So I've got and, and now, you can have. Okay, and now so. we have a full oil flask worth of storage space. Yeah. Plus, I mean, we know it's secure because it's a it's a non-reactive substance that I mean, it holds it holds alchemist yeah. fire for God's sakes. Here you go. Yeah. Um, okay. So the first check is going to be for skinning it. So roll a nature check with disadvantage, and then add a one d four to that. Can I ask a quick, quick question? Yeah. If I'm trained in Arcana, does that mean I can, like, uh, see if ma uh, magical items are ma what they have? No. Mm, no well, not can... really. Um, that That's more for, like, sussing out magical traps or if an item is magical. Uh, I, 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 I didn't realize if, I was trained in Arcana. <laughs> yeah. Actually figuring out what an item is requires uh, an identify spell, so it needs someone who can cast the spell identify or a scroll that is the spell identify. So if you want to figure out, it's like I gave it to you uh, before when you were when you found out when you we picked up nudge because you literally rolled a crit yeah. on that. All right, so um, you start skinning the basculus and you have a little bit of uh, a trouble around uh, like around the the skate the the spines along the back and along its all of its feet. Uh, it gets a little bit rough, but you do manage to get like um, a couple you know, like six square feet of of raw basilisk uh, skin off of it. It's rough around the edges and kind of cut up a little bit, but you do get a little bit of it. Right. Okay. You could probably, you could definitely take that to an armorer or something, uh, or at least to a tannery first, and and have it turned into proper leather, and then maybe made into a uh, a piece of uh, a piece of leather armor, or it could be sold. Okay. And uh, now we're gonna do another one for retrieving the bile. D four. 
Okay, another 12. Um, so you carve into the beast, uh, slice open its its abdomen, and just go, you know, like elbow deep into its uh, its entrails. You're fishing around in there for a second, looking for like, and you're more like, like, okay, this is connected to that, which is connected to that. You don't know exactly what you're looking for, but you do manage to find what you what you need. Um, cutting it out is a little bit of a problem, and a lot of the uh, the liquid spills out into the cavity. But you do grab you grab the uh, the vial from Coswin and you pour what's left into there, and it just kind of like fills up a little bit of the bottom. You've got a few ounces. Okay. Gonna hand that back to Coswin. So guys, when when you're, doing, when, when you're harvesting beasts like that, um, unless you fail really hard, uh, you're probably gonna get something. The degree to which you succeed will tell will, will dictate how much stuff you end up getting. Yeah. Just so you know uh, what, how I'm working with this. I did I it can, with... It's like I how I went with the snail. Alright, guys. Hand it to Artlock. Artlocks, you're now carrying the skin and the, uh... The bile bottle. And wherever you want yeah. to put that. The bile bottle. Okay. I'm just gonna uh, tie, like, the, um, skin up into, like, a, a tube. Mm -hmm. And just... Hot, put it, harness it on top of my pack, and I'll it's put not the going into, in the It's bag. not going into the bag. No, no, because go, I've got a backpack and then the bag. I, okay. I'm kind of going to put that one. In so the it's bag like a bedroll on top of you. Yeah. So you just got this like this gross seeping basilisk skin like dripping down along your shoulders. We use pressed digitation as well to dry it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Left or right? Dries out. It gets a little bit of that basilisk blood off of your clothing. Left or right? Uh, left seems to lead down a set of stairs. So right. Art lock. Sorry, I was I was typing, typing, writing. <laughs> so you uh, want to go right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll check right. Can I trust these bodies next to me? Is there anything on them? Uh, you could check them. Roll an investigation check. Okay. Um, you find a couple pieces of jewelry. They seem they seem ordinary, but they're made out of gold and you know, and precious gemstones. I'm gonna take them. Okay. So you have um, uh, assorted jewelry worth about 150 gold. 150 gold. Okay. Don't write down you have 150 gold. You have jewelry, jewelry worth that much. Jewels uh, worth that much. Black and white. Oh, I keep forgetting to move Tyburn. All right. Zoom! Tyburn moves around. Away. Oh shit! Ah. Pan, pan, pan. Where do you want to go? Damn. Be careful, remember there were traps before. See locks. more sar more bones, more sarcophagus. I'm in the back exposed, now. With exposed uh, uh, bodies, these ones seem to be even older than before. I'm uh, gonna check these. Uh, this room here. Go ahead. Could Tyburn come forward just so he can bring a light? <laughs> sure. Uh, by the way, Ben, it's been ten minutes. So Parry loses bardic inspiration. Okay. Um. Cause when you find on one of the bodies a small pouch filled with coins, um, it carries uh, 120 gold. I'm going to look for traps and then investigate these bodies up on this raised platform. Okay. So, so um, for the traps. Yep. You don't see anything. You don't see anything peculiar. Oh, I'm getting a, I'm getting a you good do sum of gold. Good nest egg. And then. Uh, you do you do see what seems to be a little pile of uh, gl you know glistening gold uh, sitting on the far side of one of the caskets though. 
Right, and then investigate oh, God. bodies That's and the gold. All right, so you look at the. Uh, there seems seems to be a uh, you know a rough pile. Looks like maybe it's spilled out of a uh, a chest or a sack or something like that. Gold, and um, you see a couple uh, gems in there as well. And then the bodies. Seems fine. You want me to roll no. an investigation for the bodies? Looking at the bodies. Nope, bodies are just bodies. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm gonna let the other people know there's gold and gemstones. You hear Hadrian's echo a voice echoing gold, gold. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna unsheath my wraith here. Mm -hmm. Sort of poke the pile. You see the gold coins just kind of a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the pick up the valuables. Just gonna shovel them all into the bag of holding again. Well, uh, yeah, why not? All right, so you guys see uh, Art Locks just kind of like you know move his way past the caskets, poke the pile, and he just starts shoveling it all into the bag. <laughs> How much was there? There was twelve hundred gold sitting in that pile. Okay. I've got a page onto the day's adventures. <laughs> okay, um... Shall we continue? Uh, search for... Investigate this room. Okay. Bones, 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 bones. Bones. Bones, bones, Ooh, bones. Ooh, I'm gonna investigate this. Ben. Okay. Are you. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the day a minute. Are you, are you investigate? Are you using Traps. investigate or per. Traps. Perception? I'm gonna investigate around first. To, I'm not gonna. T uh, okay, what's the word I'm wanting to use? I'm wanting to check around this before I touch it. Okay. So, what do I roll for that? Perception. If you're just using your senses, perception, if you're actually touching it, investigation. Looks fine. Looks like a big chest. Or an eight. I'm gonna double check that. Right. I'm... Looks like in a looks like a big ornate chest. Right. I'm gonna investigate it then. I found it. Yep, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, okay, Coswin, you reach forward and you, you open up the chest, and what you immediately notice is that there are teeth on the inside, and the the chest opens up and just, whoom, grabs you. Shield. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I was going to say, I'll wait for the day we get sprung with a mimic. Um, it, You are grappled by it right now. Uh, it's, but he has to make an he has to make an attack roll to do so. No, he does not. A mimic adheres to anything that touches it. A huge or smaller creature adhered to the mimic is also grappled. Give me a second. Yeah, I said I cast shield, which forms an invisible barrier around me and protects nope. me. There's he's not rolling to hit you. Yeah, no, it's not a roll though. It. It, I I know. I'm saying that's what the spell says. It's you're you, you touched it and you immediately and you were immediately grappled to it. It's a reaction though. There's no time to cast. It's, that's what I'm, I'm saying. I, that's how I'm playing a, it. I'm I'm reading it. It's how I'm playing it. You are grappled by the mimic because you touched it and that happened. You didn't have time to react to anything like that. No, that's it's not. not that's really Ben. A, a shield is an instant reaction. There's no. There's no time to cast. That's the point. Of it's shield. not going to prevent you from being grappled by it, though, because you're already touching the thing. And shield adds eight two to your AC. It's not rolling to hit. That's how I'm playing this. So well, so let me don't cast straight. shield. I don't cast shield then. <laughs> that's fine. I, I don't know what a mimic is. So what what am I seeing? What is my is guy? A, is is it, just it's a shape shifting a creature chest. that often pretends to be objects to lure people. Uh, or, nope. you know, travelers into it. I'm seeing a chest grab his You saw hand. a chest grab him and try to eat him. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run. I, I guess we run up to hit it, yeah? Uh, no, you don't. Cosmon says, back off. Everyone back. Everyone back off what 20 do, feet. What do I do? He's going to emulate it. Find cover. Oh, God. 
Simon. You said twenty feet. I'm, I'm giving them. I'm giving them a six count. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Now. Tyburn. <laughs> ben, did you move Tyburn? Oh shit! Tyburn just dies. Tyburn oh. immolates. All right. Did he? Uh, yep, I heard still. everybody. Okay. And. That's a DC 15 dex check. <laughs> and since he is grappled to me, and I am grappled mm -hmm. to him, we both get disadvantage on those, I'm pretty sure. Oh, shit. Alrighty, so DC, full god. Jesus Christ. He rolled a two. So yeah, uh, it's definitely taken all that damage. I rolled a four. So I took all the damage as well. Oh God! So you 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 see this thing? You you touch the thing, and your hand is immediately. Oh, actually, uh, hold on a second. I test tides of chaos on the saving check, which means I get a twenty-one, because tides of chaos gives me advantage on any check. Okay, so oh, roll God. for tides of chaos before we do damage. So There's no tides of chaos. Oh, I thought you just said that. No, yeah, no, it's not a roll though. It's. Tides no, of Chaos. It would have been on the spell, though. No, because he. Tides of Chaos, as it is written in the book. Tides of Chaos. Let me roll. Let me get to the page. Tides of Chaos. Boop, boop, boop. I'm on the Paladin for some reason. Tides of Chaos. Tides of Chaos. Starting at first level, you can manipulate the forces of chance and uh, chaos to gain advantage on one attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. Okay. Right. So I have now. I just rolled oh, so you're casting it. You're casting it on the saving throw. Yeah, I'm casting it on the saving uh, throw, not okay. the attack All right. roll. So, all right. So you do you do you, you you avoid half the damage on that? I roll half. The, I avoid half it, so I only take. All right, 15. and it was thirty points of damage. So just, boo, this huge explosion in this tiny little space. Um, I'm gonna say, considering it's so so confined here, this explosion is going to blast you away from it into the uh, the back of the wall there. Um, it you you hear it kind of like screech in pain for a second, and then the lid just shuts again, and it just sits there looking like a chest. All right, somebody come down here, hit that. Do you want to come up here and get healed? Uh, you know, I'm all right. Okay. That's so not just half, just hit the thing, huh? Well, actually, I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily hit that thing. I'd actually recommend somebody that's a distance, uh, somebody from a distance to hit it, because because uh, that the uh, those are mimics. It's not a good thing. Like Artlock seems so fucking happy too when he. It's a mimic. Woo! So use something like. I've, Witch I've Bowl to see or... one. I just realized I just jihaded that thing. That was, <laughs> that's why I shouted out Ulafa. <laughs> Okay, uh, can I crossbow it from where I'm standing? Sure, yeah, you can see the corner of it. Yeah. You still gotta roll to hit. Oh, yeah, that hits. <laughs> okay, so you, you just see the the, uh, the arrow just, like, sink into it, and it looks like you just shot a piece of wood, but you know it's a mimic. You just see the arrow sink in, like, you, you, you thought the arrow, you know, look, look, if it was a piece of wood, you'd think the arrow would just go thunk. But it kind of like sunk into it, so you just see like the back of the arrow hanging out. Coswin, do, do mimics understand language? Ben, do I know if, if do I know if mimics know language? Uh, I don't think they do. Damn. I'm gonna say because this is a creature. No, I'm gonna say no. Let's go try. Probably not. To death. It's yeah, it's a monstrosity as the creature type, so yeah, no. Well, I mean, Donald Trump can understand language. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh... oh! Oh! I'll just I'll shoot it again, I guess. Yeah, it's it's just sitting there. <laughs> what are we gonna about, say to know? it? Come out with your with your hinge up. <laughs> <laughs> Come out with your lid up. <laughs> All right. You just see the 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 arrow just boom, th sink into it again. Do they turn to normal chests when they die? <laughs> like 
actually, uh, let me look that up. Let me see what they do, because they're they can shape shift into into other things. I know. Just, I just yes. want to hit it in like the shape shifting gland, and it just like <laughs> it's, it's a shape shifting gland. <laughs> <laughs> just like just randomly turns like, into a bogart. It just turns. No, it should be like the imp infinite improbability drive in Hitchhikers. Uh, it's just it's like, oh, it's made of wool. <laughs> Yeah, no, this does not- it doesn't speak any languages. We should learn to. <laughs> Educated. It doesn't specifically say, so on that last hit, I'm gonna say it just start- You see the chest, like, start to, like, melt and turn into this just, like, purple ooze. That's got, got it! it. <laughs> so is it no, dead? It's, it's dead. Can I try and retrieve my bolts? You, uh, you could killed try. it. Sure. You could go sifting through the goop. <laughs> I'm going to use my rapier to, like, sort of... Like, poke it through it. it. Yeah. Uh, you, find, you find both your boats, bolts. Um, They seem to be cut, coated in, like, this thick purple goop. Mimic jelly. Mimic jelly. Is it useful? Could be. Who, who did the checks last time to work out if we could use this in any way? I did. I, I, is, I okay, no. Oh, wait, uh, I, wait, I have a question. Are, are mimic, are, is the ooze of a mimic used in in spells and potions in any way? Let me remember. <laughs> I, I was going to say... You can, you can do a check, Sir Adrian. What were you saying? I, I was going to say, I, I was, you know, like, I actually have a really good education being of noble birth and all that. I was just wondering if I ever learned anything about it, either in school or when I was learning my magic. Um, your magic is pretty mundane, is pretty remedial, and being in a society that highly censors magical use, it wouldn't be something like, this, like, ra various degrees of magical creatures wouldn't be something that would they be didn't teach taught defense in, in, in primary school. They didn't teach defense against okay. the dark arts where you Yeah, went. you didn't, you, you didn't take the elective defense against the dark arts. Well, neither did Hogwarts creatures. for the most part. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, I rolled a 10 on the Arcana. Could be. I you know don't it has, You know it has, like, mimetic properties, so you could always g gather some up and see if someone wants to buy some mimic jelly. Mm -hmm. We mimic had this jelly. turbaned guy for that year in that class. I'm not... I didn't really teach <laughs> a, lot. Is there a, a lot. Is there any pots or anything in this room? No. Oh, shit. Okay, um... Let's Art locks. Art locks. I mean, you Let's can just leave. It. I mean, if you could, you could say if you want that you go back, you know, without actually having to go through the maze to go back to the beginning, grab one of those big mason jugs, like like masonry jugs, from the offerings, and bring it back and try to scoop some, some jelly into it. Probably be pretty heavy. I don't think that's a good I'm, idea. I'm good. I'm good. Let's just go. Okay. We've got a lot more to explore. He's not that strapped for cash. Oh, well, he is though. He well. Is. He, he is. is. Costwin is just like, hey, 120 but, gold, I'm doing good today. And Arlox is like, uh, oh, that's, God, that's, that's so much debt. That's 120 on top of the money I already had, so I have 444 gold pieces in my pocket. I, right I have no idea how much gold you guys personally carry with you. Yeah, I've got almost half a thousand gold plus a platinum piece inside of my, on my person. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna search. Was oh, that the one you stole from the the pool? Like when that's you guys the one I took through as it, finder's like, fee. That was the first oh, right, one right. we picked up. And uh, the one ben, that found the damn thing. Yeah. I'd like to perception these two rooms for traps and then okay. investigate them. Uh, do a perception then investigation for me. Seems okay. You don't see anything pe peculiar. Where are um, we? On investigation, um, you, they're they're up this way. Oh, okay, I found him. Uh, on the investigation, um, you notice that one of the bodies, while very, very desiccated, does seem to be wearing a, uh, a, a fine set of armor. What kind of armor? Um, it's not full plate. It seems to be uh, half plate. Ooh. And there is a uh, there there is a, a car you know you know uh, in filigree on the front of it. There's a picture of a charging goat. Charging goat. Mm-hmm. Okay. From the famous Goat Knight. Uh, Sir Hadrian, what, what armor do you have? I have splint, so... 
either way, I would have 17 AC. I, I wouldn't mind some half plate. I did want to buy half plate before. You did? Yeah, go. So you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna loot this corpse? It's all yours. Uh, okay. Kissing we are in a tomb, you know. We're past the point of caring about desecration. We've, well, we've stolen, I, what, 200 gold pieces? For, or something? The first thing we did when we got here was we, find, I, find well, ourselves... Well, like, Artlocks, you saw gold on the ground, and you, like, crawled over some caskets. I'm and was just like, saying, shove it in there. I mean, Nobody I'm wanted against it. desecration. My, my, guy, my guy's thinking of the greater good. That's what he thinks about. But I was thinking more, you I know... Can use well, he's there not could using be something it. Something wrong with it. So, are you are you picking up it the pair? Are you grabbing the armor? Uh, okay. Well, c okay. Can I can I check for any sort of like? Arcana. Can I check if there's any magical residence you on can, it? You can do an Arcana check to see if it's, it has magical properties. You get a f you you definitely get a uh, a sense due to the fact that you're in a very old section of the tomb and the armor seems to be pristine and free of any. Like rust or decay or anything like that, um, that it's probably got some magical properties to it. <laughs> and what is it with you guys rolling the exact same number on checks constantly? <laughs> Happens all the time. Uh, ben, did uh, anyone yeah. check these two rooms here on the far side? Um, ben? I w well when um we uh, Hadrian was searching, I just had him do one check for the that that whole like wing basically. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up the half plate. Okay, so you grab you grab the half plate and you just kind of like shake the bones out of it. They clatter. Down oh no no, I'm not I'm not gonna be that like <laughs> I'm, not, I'm gonna be quite careful in doing. Get it. out of my armor! <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so you're so you're gonna carefully remove the uh, the bones from the set of armor. It's pretty heavy. You can just carrying it. It's very heavy. You know when you're wearing it and the weight's evenly distributed, it's not that bad. But carrying it is, is kind of rough. Do you can I can it? I investigate for like, any marks or anything on it? it uh, well, the you, you you there was already investigation check run on it. Uh, okay. um, it's got it's got that pic like in filigree a picture of a charging goat or ram on the front yeah. of it, but. That's the only marking. That symbol, like, does that mean anything to me? Like a, a house or something, or? Mm -mm. Okay, right. I'm I'm gonna put it on. You're gonna put it on. Uh, see if okay. it fits. Just so, remember, uh, you get disadvantage on your stealth rolls. Yeah. Um, so I'm not really a armor, stealthy guy, to be honest. It it seems to fit pretty well, and you definitely get like uh. So uh, for the sake, uh, let me see here. Um, can I? I have it in a handout, but it hasn't been identified yet. So let me just check the. Information. Oh, half plate. It is half plate. So let's see. So that's going to be 15 plus your dex mod up to two extra AC. So I'm sure that that should bring his AC up to 17, I believe. Yeah, if okay. he has a plus two on his dex. Yeah. Yep. That's good. That that's increased. That used to be 16. So um, it hasn't been identified yet, so you don't know what it what it does. But it does something. Good luck with that. <laughs> we'll it's out. plate. It's nice. It's really nice half plate. He looks dashing in it. What color is it? <laughs> he looks. It dashing. just. It just looks like steel. It's what just color finely is the polished. The, but it's it's not colored at all. It's just filigreed so into it, like 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 it was uh, chiseled in there with like a really fine, um, like. I feel like this suits me. Charging go. Looks good. Maybe you'll get a bonus when you charge things. I eat, I can eat. Oh, now I can eat anything. God, that's right, the, down, that's the, down the stairs. The right. Oh uh, yeah, I guess we head towards those steps. Never like steps. Okay, hang on one second. We're gonna change maps. We're in a right band. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna. Oh wait, Ben. Uh, on, on the <laughs> uh, <laughs> on the way there, has anyone checked these uh, bodies up here in this little like yeah. uh, side room? Yeah, yeah, so very good. They're jewelry. Yeah, he 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 just took some jewels out from like you know some rings off their fingers and you know stuff around their neck. All right, we're going to the next section. So you guys head down a flight of stairs. Maybe uh. You think maybe the steps go down into the ground about 30 feet? 
and you find yourself um, standing in a hallway. There is a hey, Re Lady Rebecca. Oh shit! Fuck. <laughs> oh, she's gone. Is she dead now? Hallucinations. Um, there is a set of uh, fine wooden doors in front of you. Any encarv any engravings on the door? Uh, did we cast it's, light? They're they're reinfor. Oh uh, shit! Yeah, because this is a new instance. I gotta redo that. Sorry, guys. I can see. <laughs> oh yeah, well, well, fuck you, Mister Elf. Fuck you. <laughs> half elf. Elf, half elf. It counts. Your Either eyes way. are elf. Yeah, mud blood. Wow, that sounded really in racist. Elvin, I'm gonna say one and like the same. Like more so than I anticipated. Half elf, full elf, one and the same. Okay. Speak my tongue. Um, do you guys mind taking a quick bio break? My wife just texted me. Is anybody dead yet? Not yet. <laughs> Wait, wow. does that mean we should be expect? She's expecting us to die. Say, she's she likes your it. wife want, it, want us dead? Like, she likes it. She likes it like when you guys are on the brink of death and like when I'm fucking around with you. She loves that stuff. I'm actually surprised I've not died yet. Like when Elric ben, when I Elric died, you, she, was like, she was like, yes, sadist. that was so cool. I was like, yeah, that was a cool death. Actually, the, when you think we're in that battle, we almost all died. Oh yeah. There was a couple of there's a couple of moments where we almost got overrun and all on the ground. I think, wasn't there at one point only two of us stood up? I think it was. Yeah, um, I honestly no, it was me think and what prevented a total party kill in that scenario was on Tyburn's last death saving throw because he failed and then he failed. But then he rolled a natural 20 on his last one. So he immediately <laughs> went up, went back into rotation, and brought everybody else back up. Yeah. Luckily, that we had that fire actually. Oh, yeah, that between, I mean, if you guys went down there and just like, we're just going to fucking attack this guy with no plan, you probably all would have just gotten overwhelmed by those things because there was like 60 of them and, and just, and just you know, mauled to death. But because of the, the fire uh, plan, the, like the ring of fire, well, I think I, I think only about eight got through. So you only had to fight a small segment of those guys and who's it's from off in the distance. Who's it? All right, should we continue? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I think everyone's bad. All right, so you guys are in this hallway, and there is a set of, of reinforced wooden doors in front of you. Yeah, are there any inscriptions on the doors, carvings on the doors? There's no markings. That uh, seems to be locked. You guys uh, want to just, like, peek through the well, door? Per per perception. Make sure it's not trapped or anything. Okay, that's fine. Someone I'll corner it in case there's a glyph of warding. Uh, you don't notice. A th it just seems to be an ordinary set of doors. It's locked, but it seems ordinary. Arcana check. You, okay. Per <laughs> Perry leads up to the door and goes, It's clear, guys! And then Costwin goes up to the door and goes, It's clear, guys. <laughs> that was right. I'm good at this. Who trusts who more? <laughs> no, you, um, neither of you notice anything magical about the door. You peek through. There does there's not really like a there's not like a keyhole you guys can see through, and it seems to be uh, fitted perfectly, like like pretty perfectly to, to match up with each other. So there's not a gap. So I couldn't can I try and lock. push it. You can you when you push it, you could it, they give just a little bit and then just snap right back. I right. can I use nudge. You can oh, use nudge. Sesame. You can you can use nudge. I, how do I do, do? I just click nudge. Just yeah, just roll for an attack. I mean, a door is not hard to hit, so but you still need to roll for an attack. <laughs> but yeah, so you manage you you slam nudge like you you aim straight for the center. You hit a little off center from where you were aiming, but go ahead and roll damage. Eight damage. All right, so you see uh, as soon as nudge impacts the left hand door. You can see that it leaves a big indentation in it, and then there's that, just a fraction of a second later, there's that force damage that kind of flows outward from the impact point, and it blasts the left-hand door completely open, and boom, you guys can see on through. So the right-hand door mm -hmm. stood, stood pretty still, but the left-hand door just blasted open. Uh, on the other side, you could see a series of statues set into um, uh, indents in the walls. They all seem to be similar to the, the one that you saw before. Um, generic, very heroic, very beautiful faces. Okay, check for traps, guys. 
Oh, fucking Tyburn. Nope. It's clear. Hadrian doesn't There's notice There's no anything. traps. Do I notice anything? Nope. Well. Right, there's a disturbed sort of. Tyburn, get up behind here. me. I can't see forward of me. What? The, the, there's a disturbed sarcophagus over here. The lid's bashed off. There's a couple. Okay. There's a couple. Um, so on the left hand side, you guys can definitely you can see lots of spider webs along uh, along the quarters, and every once in a while you see small like hand sized spiders just just like skittering away toward away from you. Right. Oh, spiders. Ah. I lost the map. Oh, there it is. Do the I have a really strange question. Yeah. Can I perception if these tombs were open from the outside or the inside? You can check that. That would be something you'd be able to check. Um, roll, yeah, roll a perception check for the for the room. These the they look like they've been slid off. And then, you know, as they got to that pivot point and fell over, they just shattered when they hit the ground. Right. Uh, I'm good. I'd like to investigate them. Okay. See what there's, there is. Bodies are much older than the ones you saw on the above ground level. Um, they have mostly been rotted away to very delicate looking skeletons. Nothing. One of them has a death mask. It's a metal. It's a metal mask laid over the skull. It's uh, mm -hmm. got the appearance of the you know the the deceased's face on it still. Going to point that out and let others do with it what they will. I still have that necromancer mask that I have. It's a little on the broken side, but yeah. Can I check the death mask out? Can I, like, visually I not love. touch it? <laughs> Don't it, it, touch. It doesn't look like uh, an individual you recognize. And it's made out of metal. Metal? What metal? It's shiny. Silver, shiny metal. Silver, it's got a silvery, shiny, silvery appearance to it. Can I Arcana check it? Sure you can. It's a mask. It's a mask. <laughs> it's there. It's there. It's a mask. It's physical. You can't keep it. You leaving it? Yeah, for now. Okay. Okay, tie burn. As you guys walk around, you see increasing numbers of spiders just <laughs> skittering away from you guys. No. God, I hate spider. It's too bad. Uh, oh, who was it in, the, in my campaign that was really scared of spiders? And I had a, re I had a really great session. <laughs> what's, what's, what's to my left? Wasn't it Borgvard afraid of spiders? Borgvard was afraid of fire because of that time fire. that he died because he was exposed to too much of it. Um, there is a uh, another door in front of you here. This one seems to be made out of a dark stone material. Like a slate, or yeah, yeah, like that. Okay. Do we open you it? Go, you want to go through any, it? Any carvings? It's plain. Want to go uh, through it? Yeah. Nudge can handle any door. Investigate first. <laughs> right, yeah, I was going to perception it. Traps. These are uh, also these statues behind us. Are they like the previous ones upstairs where they've not got plinth? Uh, yes, they are extremely lifelike. Every they're all in in very um, fine looking like action poses, like like swinging a sword or drawing a bow or casting a spell or something like that. Very Third, very we've got very realistic and very um very beautiful. 
So someone's collecting these basilisk statues Great. down here. So are we going to go through the door or not? Mitch, don't worry. All we need is the sorting hat to be brought to us on a phoenix. You guys can, can see, as you guys uh, start investigating, you know, investigating this area, you but see... I'm a Hufflepuff. You see, even, you see even more of these spiders. They just skitter around you, and then they, they turn left and go through a set of... Uh, underneath a set of double doors. Is there a Harry Potter d, &D? So there's a... There's Which a, doors there's a do set you of want? Double Which doors. door do you want to go through? There's a set of double doors right there. They all went under those ones. You want to go through that door or the door behind us? Uh, should we check out the double door first? Where the spiders went? Follow the spiders. Is it, that, that, Wait, are we that really, Harry, are we really Harry Pottering this? Follow that doesn't spiders. sound like... I'm a, sorry a I brought this up. I've been watching all the movies this week. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just follow like the that. spiders. That does not sound like it's going to end well. I say we go through the black, we go through the, the black death door. I mean, oh, okay. right? Did, can I did, perceive uh, if there's a way well, to well, open this door? I, I I perceptioned it once. Ben just got distracted. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Um, no, oh, is no, that that seventeen? No it's it's an ordinary. Yeah. It seems to be an ordinary stone. It looks really heavy. Okay. I think it's not. Not ma it is not magical in any way. All right, guys, I'm 100% sure there is not a glyph of warding on here, so you should open it right now. <laughs> Nudge it. Breach right. clip! <laughs> Flashbang. Flashbang out. <laughs> the whole party's... The whole party's gone down here. Wait, Harry, hey, how are you going to open it from down there? <laughs> so, Perry, uh, you're just going to uh, smash the door? I just push it? Uh, yeah, it, it opens. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't locked. Open. Hang on a second, let me get the, the site for you. Good oh, breach. Need, Good breach. I'm about to say, if you guys you guys want to hit this thing, it's perfectly fine, but, I mean, it's... Oh, just open it. Oh, wow, there is a table. There is a Harry Potter tabletop RPG. Is that? Cool. I, oh, uh, of, of course, of course there there is. Hey, hang on things. one second, guys, because I'm having trouble grabbing this this site blocker. So I need to I need to put you somewhere else so you don't see the whole map. What's it based off of? I I have no idea. Uh -huh. Harry Potter. Yeah, I meant like what the mechanics like. <laughs> I like oh, it. Like it's actual get its actual house. name is is Harry Potter and the tabletop RPG. It's, it's, it's <laughs> That's what it's called. God yeah. damn! What the fuck? Let me grab you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call my character Harmony Ron Snape. <laughs> the, all the characters. Some sort of weird fan fiction. Okay, for some reason I cannot. Oh, oh wait! Oh, I had me. it for a second. Oh shit! I lost it. Excuse you just said you watched them. Um, in China, <gasps> there, there's a there's a big thing with a lot of girls in China. I think it's just an Asian thing, like a China Japan thing. There's a lot of thing with a lot of girls. They like to put like two males together in relationships. Like, a a lot of a, girls. That's here. an internet thing. <laughs> Are you talking about like yeah. Stalin and Hitler? But oh god, this is not on I mean that's been this around. Like... I remember that's been around for a long time because there was a big deal yeah. with, uh, with the with the Stargate SG One fandom called Jack. Was it Jack? Uh, okay, you're back. Was it, uh, it was a. Uh, it was slash. It was um. Oh god, what was it called? Some. Um, was that like Tequila O'Neill or something? It was Daniel Jack Jake. slash or whatever? It was Daniel Jackson and and. Uh, but you normally see that oh, on the yeah. internet, but here people will talk about it in public and say, "Yeah, I I want that." Like a lot of people here will be like Twilight. They'll say, "Oh, I I, I wish I just forgot about the girl and just the werewolf and the vampire got together. They both deserve each other." Um, and so with Harry Potter, uh, well, this girl asked me when I first got to China, she was like, oh, you watch Harry Potter? I was like, yeah. And she goes, oh, who do you think Harry Potter should have got with? And I was like, um, well, I think I was fine with Granger. I guess Neville. a lot of people wanted him to Neville. get Harmony, maybe. And then she was like, oh, no, no, no. Weasley, you mean? Him would have been Snape. Oh. Oh. That's like, oh. that's, that, that's, <laughs> a, no, that's a whole other level. <laughs> That's that's like, that's like ancient she Greece, te like, like students. Come on, we all know he should have gone with McGonagall. That's <laughs> oh and, then, and then I think she was, Gilf. and then I think she was like Snape and Dumbledore would have been a great partners as well. 
Oh, if you guys like, uh, like just as a thing, because I'm not actually watching the films themselves. I'm watching the riff tracks of mm-hmm. the films with with the films. Uh, if you want to watch some mm-hmm. uh, some great um, uh, Harry Potter, uh, or if you want to rewatch the things, get the riff tracks of all the movies and rewatch it all. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I love it. Thank Okay. Can I investigate this room? Yes. Uh, you can roll an investigation check on the room. All right. So this room is filled with four sarcophaguses. All of them seem to have been uh, caved in on one side forcefully. Like, like, like they, they they couldn't get them open. And so they just smashed. Someone smashed the ends of them off and pulled out a bunch of the bones and started uh, just sifting through them. Um, in, like On the inside, you can see like every once in a while a little the light glinting off something left on the inside of some of them. Does anybody want to crawl inside of a sarcophagus and just push the bones out of the way? Yeah, go for it. I'm that desperate. Okay, so <laughs> Art Locks, you <laughs> you just I, I want you to take I want you to take a second, Mitch, and realize that you've resulted you've res- <laughs> resorted to grave robbing to pay your debts. You did the too. first thing we did when we got in this land. I've still got the you shield did, to prove you it. Did, you no, did you did don't though. Thing. Or do or did you no, get it back? He did get the shield. I've back. had the shield back then. Right? Oh, okay. Nobody mentioned that. I thought we still had his sand he, shield. Cosmo's no, not I'm wrong. Nobody ever mentioned the fact that, like that you got it back. We mentioned it in passing in that solo thing we did. You were like, did I get it back? I was like, yeah, yeah, you got it back. You pulled it out from under the fucker's body. And then that was uh. it. <laughs> No, no, it was a great entailment because he was still alive. Oh, I, right, right, right. I, I, I thunderclap, oh, not thunderclap, thunderwave, blew him over and grabbed him. Yeah. He <laughs> was like, well, I, I don't <laughs> think, I, I'm pretty sure, I don't think we made that, like, abundantly clear to everybody. But anyway. Uh, and actually, I think I got this, this light blocker just a little bit off from where it's supposed to be. Oh, really? Because it was just, it was just off by a fra- like a fraction of an inch. Um... I didn't ra- I didn't rob any graves. I I, I took a I took a stack so of coins. You got you got to like a body. Pull all the because some of, some of these are just caved right open on the end. Some of them is just like an area barely able to get your arms in. So you got to kind of like pull <laughs> some rocks out of the side, grab the bones and start pulling them out. Um, and you just kind of crawl in head first and you feel around in the darkness. Uh, it's easy for you because you got you got that that ba- those bastard elf eyes. Um, <laughs> And I'm you not fast it either. You, uh, having gone through all four of them, you manage to find a couple pieces of jewelry. Um, you find uh, a very nice-looking ring with a large diamond in it, and um, it seems to be a necklace with a large pearl. Um, and okay. you also uh, f- you also find two hundred and twenty assorted gold pieces. In like little pearl s- necklace, uh, diamond ring. Mm-hmm. 200. Doesn't this make you think that whoever was in here and broke these sarcophaguses, they didn't care about any of the jewelry? No, they're probably looking for the hairdress that we're looking for. 212, did you say? <laughs> they aren't as poor as we are, so they didn't grab yeah, 220, I said. 20. 220. That That's 8 is going to make a big difference in the end. What is the headdress do again? What did you say, Perry? What does the headdress do? You didn't tell him. Gigushka did not I tell did him. He told him, he, no, he told he him to get uh, in here and to retrieve it. I asked him what it was. About. So what did he say? I didn't write it down. <laughs> well, <laughs> for those, in my extensive notes, I actually didn't write it down. Accent. You wrote down like the color of clothes he was wearing, but you didn't write down actually the Sorry. important stuff. His I know voice was a little door. hoarse. He seemed irritable. He wanted this item, and then da 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 da. da. <laughs> he had he had a, a quirky smile. It was Gigushka. He spoke like this, but he was a bit more stern with me. Yeah, he wasn't happy that he had to give up a a, a nice item. Someone pointed something out in the comments. It's like. He shouldn't be that upset. He got them for something that was only going to cost him a thousand gold. Oh, yeah, then he extorted this out of you, didn't he? Well, yeah, but it's because I feel bad. And I really need him to find that person for me. So. All right, so there's a large uh, ornate door here. This one is also wooden uh, and reinforced, but it does have... um, This one does have, uh, like... It's much fancier. 
and there are, you, you know, like uh, bass relief carvings on it and stuff like that. Pretty, um, pretty, pretty mundane things. You see like a funerary scene and things like that, which is okay, not. You said there was spiders went underneath it. Does yes. that mean there's a gap? There's a small gap underneath. Can I peer underneath it? Yeah. You can do a perception check underneath it. <laughs> so you put your head down on the ground. You look under the door. Uh, you can see several columns, uh, the bases of several fluted columns and stairways that go up. You see what seem to be um, the feet of another statue, and you can definitely see some, some spiders just just scurrying away. But you know, you know, as you've gone deeper, you've you've seen you, they've become denser and more of them. Would we like to come back to this? I think we go in weapons drawn. A nudge. Oh well, check the doors unlocked first. I could just like you know smash the door open, then we'd be like run in and be like. Oh, bridge and clear. And clear. Bridge and clear. Bridge and clear. Be a pretty good smoke, entrance. Smoke out. Right, I'll roll the flashbang under the door. We give it ten seconds. Okay, the gap is not big enough for the flashbang to fit under the Ooh. door. It gets right up against the edge. You all look wide-eyed, and then it goes. <laughs> I actually just thought of something. If I, if we can find a magical en enchanter, get a uh, get a metal tube, and enchant a sunburst spell. You gonna make it. a bandolier? And, no, just a metal no, tube. Make a flashbang. Put a sunburst spell enchanted into it and trigger it with something. And you just and you give it like a couple seconds. Boom! Sunburst under a door, and then. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you, I thought you were gonna t I thought you were talking about making a bandolier to like clear obstacles. No, no, just just a flashbang, a magical flashbang. That's it's. I mean, it's feasible if you had the right components and you found an individual, which wouldn't be too terribly difficult. You know, you know some magical people. It wouldn't be impossible. That'd be hilarious. So I can just imagine like Coswin, like with this, like uh, uh, like belts of like loads of different magical grenades, like. And he's just got one on his back that's the holy hand grenade. Like, <laughs> that'd be an interesting uh, I'm doing a, Like, Jordan himself an alchemist whose primary weapon is, like, like, like he can have a crossbow or something, but his other things are like magical that down. That's a Pathfinder character in the making. That is a, yeah. that, is, <laughs> that, is an that is an enchanter or an alchemist with throw anything as a perk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, all right, all you right. could give them a crossbow, and then they like make bombs as the rest of their weaponry. That'd be so cool. All right, so what are you guys doing? Breaching clear. Uh, I'm gonna check the door, see if it's trapped, and if it, I can tell if it's unlocked. Okay. Nope. Seems fine. You jiggle the handle. Open it then. I'm sure gonna... open. Push it open, or at least Pirate try. Smash. Um, hang on a sec. As you put, as, as you get, uh, you, you you grab the handle and, and turn it. Um, you notice that it doesn't go all the way. It seems to be locked. Ah. Do that thing. I can pick the lock, probably. I could just smash do, it. Do you have lock picking tools? I did. Which, which pile of my inventory is it in? <laughs> just smash the door open, Perry. No, just smash it, just smash it. You sure? Just, yeah. Okay. Where is Uh, nudge. Boop. Alright, so you slam uh, uh, nudge into the door, roll for damage. You hit it right in the center on the, the gap between the two doors. All right, the doors fly open. Let me get the lighting for you. Oh, spiders. You see you see groups of spiders, spiders scurrying around. Um, uh, on the left and the right, you can see two two doorways that have raised portcullises. Um, I, I have bars on there just for, because for, I couldn't find good portcullis um, artwork. 
Uh, so those are uh, those are raised up on on both sides. You see a large ornate room uh, in front of you. Stairways that lead up, columns and sarcophagi, and spiders. And spiders. Are we rolling initiative? Nope. I just decided, so these spiders. I just decided, these spiders. They're they're not really doing anything other than just scurrying around. So I see a lot here. more of these statues. Yes, you do. There are definitely more of those statues. You see the spiders. Are they statues. like in the same combat positions, like they were fighting? Yeah, something? there's, there's s some of them are, um, uh, you know, you know, in, in heroic poses, running with weapons drawn. So we might have another basilisk on our hands, guys. Well, unless the other one had the ability to close and open doors and essentially lock them. But there's also the ones that are lined up, like behind us, right here. So I think someone's been, someone might have pet basilisks. <laughs> Wonderful. Like they, they've clearly turned uh, um, it. I would like to perception into... the room. All right. See if there's any traps. You see uh, a lot. There's a lot in front of you, and within your vision. Wow, that got really loud really fast. No, it didn't. <laughs> On my end, it did. Jesus Christ. Sorry. It's that fucking... I'm gonna have to, like, reinstall Windows just to get that fucking auto-ducking out of my face. Um, you see... You see... Uh, or within your, your sight radius, because this is a dark room in front of you, you can just see as far as the light goes. You see columns and stairways. You see, uh, like, a fine rug laid out in front of you, and you see the spiders just... Got perception for traps. Uh, just, uh, if you step into uh, the if you step into the room, because right now you just got that that visual straight in front of you. So there's no trap straight in front of us. Not straight in front of you, no. <laughs> the spiders keep going away from you guys. Uh, there looks to be a lever to my right. A lever. What's that in the middle? Because there's oh, yeah. two things. It's, you see, a, there's there's a, a large rug on you the right in left. front of you guys. Um, no, no, there's one on the left and right. You can see um, some. Well, on uh, on plinths. Hang on, because right right here, and right here again, couldn't find good artwork. There are sets of fine armor. You know, like like you know you know like you see in like a medieval castle. I don't like those sarcophaguses are closed. All the, um, all the sarcophagi are closed. Guys, I don't like keep that. your voices down. Guys, keep your voices down. There's someone over there. You can see the back of a woman who is facing away from you. Is she slowly, is she softly crying, like, on the ground? And do we not want to shine a flashlight at her? Whatever you do, do not shine your light spell directly at her. This left for dead. Yes, it is. <laughs> can I perception the woman? You can. But if she turns, I want to stop looking. Uh, Where do you see this woman? She seems to be wearing north. Uh, a, north. a very fine um, white, like uh, a flowing dress. And you can see that she's wearing a headdress, uh, a large golden headdress with her Turn hair the headdress. Pulled, <laughs> pulled that back that... Uh, behind her. Is there anything? Is her hair slowly uh, moving as if on its own? Do you have scale on her? I do. You do. Hmm. Could be. Could be. No. Could be. Could be her moving. Her shoulders. I think we got a one of the gorgons. It's yeah. Sad. It's, it's the statues and stuff. Oh yeah, it's. Well, how do, I, how do I fight? We're not out looking. Let's put the loincloth around my eyes. Whoa. Oh man, I'm gonna it's take direct... the dirty lo loincloth. It's I've had that for a long time. It's probably clean, but I probably would have cleaned it by now. Mm. God, I hate spiders. <laughs> You're still worried about the fucking spiders. I'm more worried about the what could be a. <sighs> what could it be? What could it be? What's what would be its name? I'm sorry, Marla? I said Gorgon. Gorgon, Gorgon, Gorgon. Uh, that's because yeah, I mean, yeah, to go with the ancient Greek tales. Don't you have an irrational fear? 
minus spiders. Did you say that no, out loud? I have an irrational, I have an irrational fear of turning into stone. No, I didn't. Okay. At night's not scared of anything. Come on. Are we going to just stand up? here? Yeah, we're going to no, stand I'm, there. I'm not going to. I'm not going to try and sneak. She, she's, she doesn't know we're here yet. That's what you think. How can she not know? We just we smashed down the door. That's true. She has to know. He just knows that she's too strong. She doesn't need to worry. Maybe she's going to turn around and turn us in the stone. Well, I bloody hope not. Not well, then, nice way to go. let's 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 do this. Let's, let's get guys, going, guys. We need to we need to get out of here. We need to just leave. We need to back <laughs> up. We need, we need to leave. He's wearing the headdress we need. All right. Well, okay. Then we should not. We shouldn't fight her here. Come on. What, okay. what do you suggest? What do you suggest? <laughs> Getting her out of here. Why specifically here? How are we going to get out of here? Do you remember how hard it was to fight the Beholder in its lair? Oh, shit. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, can we back Are away? Ben, is there any mirrors or anything arrayed inside of this inside of this room that I can see? Okay, we back out. I'm slowly backing out. Yeah. All right. Do we have any mirrors? Well, I mean, we have two shields that could be polished. Okay, then we need to do that. If that's what I think it is, then then we can we can use its own. Art Lox's shield is not Wooden. made out of is not made out of metal. Uh oh. Okay, that brings us down to one. It's paint. It's painted wood with like a metal boss and a metal rim. Oh. I mean, I can shine up the the. Um. Well then, no. Probably we don't probably have anything. What kind of shield do you have, Sir Hadrian? Well, I was just thinking like a, uh, not like a, what what are those called? They're like triangular sort. Kite shields. Kite shields. Yeah, something like that, with like metal bands. Yeah, but not say like that solid a metal. kite shield would probably like, be made out of wood reinforced with metal. It wouldn't be something yeah, that you could... Band it, almost all shields are made of wood, yeah. except for, I mean, like, you're talking a buckler, or you're talking about like, a, uh, like a small... Like a Greek, wait, 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 like wait, wait, Greek-style wait. shield would be made How out of like, How shiny are your armor, guys? We were all wearing... Our, like, three of us are wearing armor. I'm wearing a breastplate. I, Harry's now I wearing just, half plate. But I just took I off a dead body. I don't think it's clean. Harry's is you no, know, it's it's physically untarnished, but it is filthy because it's been in here for ages. And I have split mail like my shield, so it's like reinforced. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't have a chains sit underneath. Yeah, well, I've got a shiny breastplate. That's... You do have a shiny. You have a very shiny breastplate. Sarah made sure that it was She she buffed it twice before. Uh, so, so you, you I've got it. quite quite a shiny breastplate. Why don't we just like, attack it blind? I was gonna say, why don't we just go in there and uh, and do the deed? I think I don't know why you're scared. Is Greek mythology in this universe? That's valid. Yeah, I'd say from what so. we've seen so far and what we think uh, right now, can I make a check to confirm what I think this thing is? Sure. And what check would I be making? Mm, just do a history check for me. Oh my god, it's a minion. <laughs> ah! Okay. 
<laughs> can I consult you the stories? You th yeah, you can. Because I, I, cause I, it's basically I'm consulting the stories to see if... I, I want to know if my knowledge of Greek mythology history, right? is, this like... is... This is something where I heard it in a tale would be perfectly valid. <laughs> okay, cool. 23. Is it a Gorgon slash Medusa? Yes. Okay, fucking hell. Right, so we cannot find it in that room. <laughs> Can we find it anywhere? Room? Well, because the stories go, Medusa has a lair. So if this is her lair, we don't want to be in there. <laughs> Right, but is it, doesn't it? Does it matter if she's in her lair? Her power is still valid anywhere, right? Yeah. Yeah, but they have some, like control some, of the lair. Some that large, sense. some like like really tough monsters, um, and like really t and especially really intelligent monsters. Um, they they have layer abilities, so they have basically there's extra spells that hit once around that aren't associated with them, it's associated with the area they're in. Like the remember beholder. remember when we were fighting the Beholder and it, it, it spawned like vines or whatever yeah, out of like the wall? Yeah, like tendrils shot out of the yeah, wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a layer well, action. Well, Sir Hadrian wouldn't know that, but... But he wasn't there, but, you know, mechanically speaking, that's what a layer action is. How far I, away is she? From I don't there? think... You, I don't think you can get her to come out, can you? Unless, like, you did a taunt or something. I can't looks. see her from here anymore. I, well, you might, you might, you might have to get the command. You might have to go in and taunt her. Depends. I do. Okay, her, uh, her, um, the, like the stone, the petrification that uh, that a Medusa has. I mean, it's got to have a range on it, right? It can't be all range. It's got, no, I it's think got, it's, got, it, it's got stats. It's like it's, you can see her eyes, I guess. If that's how the old stories go, and that's all I can go by. Mechanically speaking, yes, it has a range. Okay, who, um, who are ranged characters in this party? Okay, that's me. me. Tyburn's got a crossbow. Heartlocks. I have some ranged spells. I've technically got Elric's bow. If if you want to go out of the room, you know, Arlok's go in, but he, stand, he stands backwards. No. Well, I know how to use I mean, the bow. I'm just not proficient in it. Because that'd be really <laughs> funny if you rolled for an attack with the, the flaming bow and, like, shot Coswin in the back. Like, ah, I mean, ah, ah. I mean, technically, I'm proficient in bows and all martial and simple weapons. Yeah, so I'm I could weapons, use it. So. Oh wait, does does it count as a martial weapon? A bow? I think it's since I think longbow and shortbow are their like own. Well, no, they would be they'd be consa uh, th well, There's martial simple? and simple weapons, so it must be martial. I can, I can use martial well, or simple weapons because well, no, well, are you? Uh, it, yeah, but are you in proficient in mar martial melee? Because I know some strictly, like just as martial weapons. Oh, okay. Then it's yeah. Then you're. I, can I use mean, you could, use, you could use the crossbow without any issue, so I would imagine. Yeah, but that uh, my my is a light crossbow, and that counts as a simple weapon. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So martial, uh, uh, if uh, hold on, let me actually look at the book because I know the bow is it's got to be a martial weapon. It's not simple. Yeah, it is. It's a martial. A longbow is a martial ranged weapon. Then if I check the uh, if I check the bard, unless you have any special, I I am things. because I, I've got a, I'm a bard of valor, so that's where I get it from. The hell's the bard? Uh, I think the bard. Oh, okay, here he is. Bard of valor. Yeah, you gain proficiency with medium armor shields and martial weapons. Doesn't have a does doesn't have any differential. So I mean, yeah, you can if, use the bow just fine. If I use so, it and I roll a one, I can re-roll that one that dice that rolls a one for the damage. So it's up to you, Artlocks. But uh, it'll probably be good to have some uh, ranged. Uh, you probably have a better uh, dex. An all right, Dex. It's not fantastic, but you're an elf. Is it, is it better than a two? Bonus, like a fourteen. Uh, I've got a, a one. It's a thirteen. Oh. Yeah. I roll pretty mundane stats on this count. You play Borgfart and then tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
No, I said mundane. You were below average. Oh man, yeah. Ever like all of I think the like Burkford best stat was maybe a fourteen, and then I think I had two eights. One was Dex. Oh, wow. I think I had either a six or an eight on Dex. I think it was the only thing about those art locks is that if you do that. If you go with the longbow, it's a two-handed weapon, so you're only going to be using the longbow, and that yeah. means you're not going to have your loot or anything. Oh, you can't po you can't See, actually do your spells. If I use it, I can't use my spells because I have a feat. I'm a warcaster. All right, G you give Crimson carry, back his bow. You wouldn't be able to carry the shield though, so your AC would go down. Right, it'd be back to 17 instead of 19. I say we could use the... we could maybe do this. I don't. I mean, I'm I used up both my level three slots, but never mind. I can actually I can buy back a level three slot. I oh okay. I can get an alpha strike out. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I I can get. I can get a full ball. I can get a full brunt alpha strike with two fireballs. You've still got that invisibility cloak. Uh, actually, you never gave it to me, but let's say you gave it to me. <laughs> yeah, is there, is there, a, is there, a, is there an item card associated with this oh, that I need, Ben? No, it, you know, just know it doesn't cover you the entirety, so you'll have to crawl. Uh, yeah, well, like, um, I didn't give an item card for that because it was pretty simple, but I can make one up um, if you guys want want me to. But it gives you, uh, you know, it's I think it would help us. But all. you have to move. It, you have to move at half speed, otherwise you're at disadvantage. Yeah, definitely, it would help us all if we. Uh, That's if, fine. If all of our magic items had a, had a little card with it. That all way, the ones yeah. I've made up for today's uh, definitely do, and a lot of the other ones do. I hadn't done that one because nobody asked for it, but I could definitely do that. Yeah. Um, you can okay. you can use it uh, as a normal cloak. At half uh, move, while moving at half speed, if you're moving at your full speed or sprinting or anything like that, you have disadvantage on any stealth checks made with it. Because it's right. like I'm just heavy. gonna I'm just gonna keep that in my bag for right now. I don't think it's gonna be that useful. Like I said, if we go in there, we rush. I think we can maybe get an alpha strike out of anywhere between, depending on her dexterity roll or it. I don't know if it's a male or oh, it's yeah, it's it's a, it's a woman. Uh, we can get, I don't know, maybe, maybe. Do you uh, need your bow stats back? <laughs> uh, no, I can't. Uh, I'll just roll it off Elric's page. Forty to sixty damage on an alpha strike with me. Well, no, because you'll have Elric's bonuses. Oh uh, yeah. Well, no, I can just transfer it over. It shouldn't be that hard. So I say we go in. I hit. I hit first. That way we're getting a surprise round out of it, and immediately after I hit, uh, Sir Hadrian hits her with the bow. And uh, everyone, everyone does their their most powerful and damaging ranged attack, and we stay at a distance. So let's let's, what's the minimum or what's the short range on a longbow? What is it like? Like 20 feet. One hundred fifty feet. One hundred fifty feet. Okay. What's the who has the shortest ranged uh, range? As in, um, well, it would be my javelin. And what's that? What's that range? Sixty. Wait, you, Mac, uh, min twenty, max sixty. All right, I say we go, we go it in, and we we get within fifty feet of her, and we do an alpha strike to all of us, and that'll mean it'll take her one round of movement before she's even within range of melee with any of us, so we can get another round out of ranged attacks. Do I have to use Dex for the bow? Yep. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thought so. Does I'll anyone else have any better? It's an <laughs> Does anyone have any better plans? One sec. Oh, I don't remember why I have a plus three. Oh, wait, skill. But it's a plus one. The spiders are back. The spiders are gone. The spiders are crawling over some caskets. The spiders are back. The spiders are closed. The spiders are gone. They're on the rug. The spider sat on the mat. The spider started climbing a wall. The spider's on. These spiders move really quickly. 
All right, guys, what's the plan? Okay. Are you good with that plan? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm just re putting all the da damage. I'm handing back. him the bow at the moment and trying to find the arrows in my bag. All right, Tyburn's also got a crossbow, and he's, from what I remember, he's actually a very good shot. I wouldn't go that far, but he's got a crossbow. I've got a crossbow. I mean, I can use Tyburn rolls really bad when he's trying to hit things offensively, but really good when he's healing people. So far, at does, least. So far. Does he have any ranged damage spells? Uh, wait, I have another question. Um, Sacred Blast. Flame. Sacred Flame. Sacred Flame. The plus one from the weapon, does that go to the fire damage as well? Nope. Okay, I didn't think so. No. No, nah, because that's a bow, and it, it only affects the bow, not the arrows. You could have, you can get plus one arrows though. I got plus one plus bolts. One yeah, right. Still. But the bow does fire damage. So the bow does one d six fire damage. So you'd roll the. So when you roll, it does the the melee or the martial right. damage and the fire damage separately. Right, but it doesn't get a plus one to that damage because of the plus no, one. No, no. Okay. The plus one's only to hit things with. Yep. I just realized we're we're, we're prepping to go fight a gorgon. Yeah. That's that's great. Call me Jason. I'll call you the Argonauts. Let's go. <laughs> no, it's fun. <laughs> it's funny because uh, I've also been rewatching Battlestar Galactica, and that has a very Greco-Roman uh, ties to the uh, the show and its uh, culture. Mm -hmm. Art locks on the Argonauts. My, my, my new wow. CK two series is about restoring Greece. I'm gonna oh, take oh, cover yeah. up against this p pillar. Okay. Oh god, I have to get so close because I can't see anything. Well, okay, uh, first, okay, well, Sir Hadrian's gonna be, gonna be, okay, I think it should be me and Sir Hadrian because Sir Hadrian is casting light. Then, second line will be, uh, Artlocks and Perry. Uh, <laughs> ah. and we have Tyburn in the back because Tyburn is the healer. Well, what am I gonna do? Well, what do you, okay, oh. Um, do you have any ranged attack whatsoever? Guys, don't oh. forget she's wearing the headdress, so try not to damage it. Try not it's to magical, blow up her head. It's a magical item, though. I don't think it'll take fire damage. I know, but we put a hole in the last headdress someone was wearing that was magical. It wasn't magical. Oh, well, no. I, well, that was because I was firing a, I was firing a, magic, was it, missile, magic missile. And I aimed for the face. Exactly. Yeah, well, that, that, you were <laughs> killing the guy, and you were like, I want to put him straight through his forehead. And I was like, okay, well, that's what happens. Okay. You ready? No. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> are we this. fighting her in her lair? Is that what we decided? I think I think we can take the chance if we can get two range strikes before she can get to our. Uh, she can get to. Try and stay melee. covered as well, if you can, guys. Like. Okay. Out of line of like directish line of sight. How tall like, there's a lot the... of pillars in here. Use the pillars to your advantage. The pillars go all the way up to the ceiling. All right, where was she exactly, Artlox? Direct north Direct of the north you right pillar. now. Just past the sarcophagi. There's like a in little inlet. Yep. I can barely see her. She's I can barely see there. her right now. Okay. Right. She's at the edge of she's at the edge to... of my vision. Shall I move up? Well, what? You're not casting well, light. Us, Andy. Um, Ben. I'm not casting yeah. light, but what? What? Um, Fairy what fire. type of creature is a gorgon? Yeah. But. See, I believe it's a. Are human, they... I believe it's humanoid. Actually, yeah. It I is. It is humanoid. Uh, That's it's, a very good idea. Technically, it's a not. monstrosity, so it's not undead. Artlox, come up um, here. Come on. Because I can protect on. against. Yeah, I need to get. I know. I need to get within sixty feet. In Where do you guys want Tyburn to go? Because I don't, I don't want to move him around in combat myself. I need to move up like one square. <laughs> because I know how combat's unfolding. So. Okay. okay uh, put Tyburn. Put Tyburn right here. Flame. Right here. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I'm actually gonna cast Fairy Fire on it. On what? On the Gorgon. Okay. But that's how you. Which one? So I've got my loot out, and I'm using its one spell of the day. To do this. All right. So, each object is twenty feet within range. Outlined in blue, green, or purple light. Any creature in the area that is outlined in light, if it fails a deck saving throw, uh, they also so emit ten feet of dim light. 
And this provides advantage if the attackers can see it. So I have to roll a deck saving throw on yeah. her. And the spiders. Yes. <laughs> are they within... Uh... They're within 20 feet, yes. Yeah. Yes, they are. Okay. And they're going to become our light sources in this room. <laughs> Just yeah. All right. So, oh, yeah. Um, both sets of spiders failed, but the Gorgon did pass. Oh, shit. No, that's fine. That's fine. We'll be able to see because they both so spiders now and this 10 spider, feet have done. All right, let, before we do anything else, let me set up light on these spiders because they do admit light that everybody can see. I'm going to go with a green glow today. <laughs> I wish I could. I really wish that was I, I could hue the light so you could see like it coming from different different sources. So what happens is when this uh, you, you you strum your loot and fairy fire erupts on the opposite side of the loon for just that brief instant you can see the medusa outline and then fades away but the glow uh the faint green glow um uh stays on the spiders hang on one second because i'm going to randomly decide which direction they run in okay uh this spider is gonna these spiders uh kind of rush forward onto the column and just start swarming around it okay. these spiders uh, rolled that way. Do, 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 do. So these ones are going to go over here. Uh, those ones kind of rolled di diagonally towards you, started casting light, and I'm actually going to have everybody roll initiative now because that alerted her to what was going on. Uh, let me get the uh, initiative up, order up. There we go. Shit. Shit. Ooh. Oh, Parry, nice. the close combat character coming out with the fucking Who's all the way at the back. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair. And Tyburn, let me get him up here. Tyburn, select his token. Uh, what are you thinking, Cosway? And we're going to... Initiative, that's the one I'm looking for. Alright, Tyburn rolled very averagely. All right. What's your dex, Art Locks? Oh, wait, we already decided this. You have a 13, right? Mm -hmm. Now I go first. Uh, what, did, what did you roll? You rolled a 6? We both rolled six, 6, but I have a 14 dex. Okay. So, Perry, you're up first. Com the combat has been initiated, and you're up first. I can't even see her. <laughs> so, what are you doing? Hmm. Can you guys we hear the music? Well, I can't look at yeah, I can hear. Yeah, I can hear the music. I have to ask. Music, it's so you can apply okay. healing to people as needed. Yeah, I, I can apply healing. If you want, you can hold your turn or hold your action. What does that? What does that Holding do? Holding your action basically says I like like you can hold your action and say I'm going to wait until something happens in the turn order. Then I'm gonna then I'm gonna do my action. So like if you were, I can choose after anyone else basically. So you have to you have to tell me what you're you're holding your action to do. Like if you're saying I'm waiting until someone's injured to heal them, but you know you wouldn't. You can't, say... you can't hold your whole turn, just your action. So you wouldn't be able to move or anything like that. That's not going to help fully. Yeah, it, it that that kind of thing is really good for ranged characters or um, spell users because you could say I'm going to wait until this happens to cast a spell. That's really important. But for melee I'm characters, gonna bit, yeah. I'm going to get a bit closer because I don't know where she's. I actually can't see her. Okay. So I actually don't know Directly where she is exactly. Of me. Yeah, but okay. I guess I could fight the spiders. Well, they're we not fighting the anything right now. There they've are just, they've been light. avoiding you guys. They've just they've been, been like, There are lamps right now. So. <laughs> Every time you guys have like moved, the spiders have kind of like just skittered around and stayed their distance. I, I'm going to I'm going to go over to this angle just to get us a bit covered over a different area. Okay. Uh, I'm just kind of I'm just going to keep make sure I look the other way from her, I'm not trying to look directly at her. Okay. And that's your turn? I guess on my turn, yeah. Okay, so it is now the Medusa's turn. Um, so the fairy fire erupts around her. You see her spin around. She runs forward. Nope, that's not forward. She's going to run forward and leap up on top of this, uh, this sarcophagus here. And she's going to make two ranged attacks at the closest person, which is 
possible. Okay. So that is a 15 to hit. Uh, shield. Okay. Uh, which will give me a plus 5 AC. I have 12, so... So, that's seven, so now you have an AC of, of 17? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then the second attack is a 14. So those, so she fires foo, foo, from a longbow, two arrows at you. You cast shield, and both arrows impact the shield and shatter, leaving you untouched. Okay, wait, can I just take this opportunity to ask a question? Does that count as a spell slot? Uh, does what count? Shield. Yes. Yes, okay. that's a spell. That's a, that's a first level uh, Yeah, that's spell. what I thought. And she is going to use the rest of her movement. She's going. Oh wait! Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, no, he's right. First level spell slot. Oh, I, you got to cast Tides of Chaos. So. <laughs> Tides of Chaos. Hundred and four in your books, people. Shit. Forty five. Forty five. I cast Levitate on myself. Okay, you are levitating several. What? Let's say a foot off the ground. What is that? In terms of its spell, do I have a movement speed? I think it's I think it's still just thirty. Yeah. Well, I'll check. You guys keep going. Levitate. Maybe give me a little a little, <laughs> a little thing on the token. Uh, it lasts for ten minutes. Spell can levitate oh. a target that weighs up to five hundred pounds, so you're cool. Uh, rises. Oh, you rise twenty feet in the air. Okay. And your movement speed is the same. So you're just floating. If you want to, you can float up to 20 feet up in the air. Uh, in terms of linear distance, straight linear distance, I want to get as far away from the Medusa as possible. Oh, uh, so, well, you're not moving. What you, oh, so um, moving up 20 feet would. Well, he doesn't. He, he, he levitates up 20 feet, but he can control it. So you wanted to just move back as far as you could go? Uh, I want to get, yeah. Uh, I want to, I'm, I'm, yeah, I want to go up. I don't know, 20, 15, 20 feet, whatever. And then I want to go back a couple of feet. That so way let's I'm say at you least go, 30 feet away. From let's say you go up 20 feet and back 10. Or you could do 15 and 15. That'd be fine. That'd we be just call like that. I'll go there. I'll okay, go there. Fine. And, and uh, maybe I'll, I'll uh, it would be good. All right, that's good. Okay, um, so you're going to be doing this because this lasts for ten minutes, so you're going to be good. For, you're going to be levitating for the rest of combat. All right, um, the Medusa took her turn. She fired at Coswin and then took made her movement. It is now Tyburn's turn. Uh, he has to make a saving throw, which he succeeds. Uh, what do you guys want Tyburn to do? Just take a shot at her. Sacred flame. Sacred flame. Be good. Unless he has another. Uh... Unless he has a more a damaging ranged attack. He, well, his crossbow is about the same. Sacred Flame. Then, then. Yeah, it's sacred flame. He's got a better chance. Sacred Flame. He gets two now, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Yeah, 2d8. Sacred Flame. Uh, deck saving throw. And then 2d8 if it hits. She rolled a 20, so it did not hit. So, Tyburn, Sacred Flames, and then it just sputters sacred in his hand. Whiff. And Sacred Whiffs. Um, do you want him to move it all? Back. How far? Yeah. Can well, you... Five feet at least. Five feet back. Okay. Five uh, can feet you back. put him behind this? Yeah, right there? Yeah, yeah. you can move there. Okay. Um, that makes it Coswin's turn. Coswin, you need to make a saving throw? No, I don't, because I am at oh, least 30 feet away. Because you're floating up in the air, too. Yeah, yeah you're fine. Trigonometry, bitch. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Uh, okay. What, what saving throw is it, by the way? It's con. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, so I am going to... Uh, I'm going to cast... That's bad luck with con. Fireball. I'm going to twin a fireball, and I'm going to cast it right there. Which means that all of... The, it means the Medusa, the spiders, all that shit's within 20 feet of it. But none of my friendlies are in 20 feet. Okay, so you're you're basically just firing it kind of like right into the sarcophagus behind her that she leapt over. Yeah, I want to get, I want to get her in sense. the fire. I want to get her in the fire, but nobody else. You're good. So. All right, and that's twinned, so there's two of them. So do do. And she makes uh, and everybody makes deck saving throws on those, right? 
to half the damage. Yes, yeah. to half the damage. So, um, well, no matter what, the spiders die. All right. There goes our light. So, because they, they got light, I'm just going to delete those. Um, she's got to make two dex saving throws here. And she has a dex of... What is uh, what is the DC? 15. Just roll it. Oh. She rolled a 15. Okay, that is that is my DC. Okay, so she made that one. And a 14. Okay, so she takes half of the 39 and full 28. Okay, so that... Uh, let's... Uh... <laughs> That's and roll a d100, please. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I always forget, but Mitch is the one who always remembers. I quite like it. That's the oh, thing. I do, too. It, it, oh, I, the reason yeah. I picked this was because it felt like a Psyker from 40k. Or oh, tabletop. yeah, that's great. Oh, yeah. Tied to, yeah. Five. A monodrone appears, controlled by the DM. <laughs> In an unoccupied space within five feet of you, and then disappears one minute later. He's back! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? I'm not, I'm not You'll see! <laughs> Woo! That guy just whoops into existence, and then he falls Actually, ten, <laughs> yeah, he falls he ten feet. <laughs> it takes two points of bludgeoning damage and dents his side in pretty good. Uh, damage for the Medusa plus eight. Okay, so that's uh. How much did I do total? Thirty-eight half. Uh, Thirty-nine half. It was forty-eight Rounding. total, I think. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. So your fireballs, one, foo foo, right after another, they slam almost in identical spots into the sarcophagus behind her, and that wave of concussive fire just blasts all the spiders off the columns, off the sarcophagus. You just hear them squealing, and you get that acrid smell of like burning hair as the uh, the spiders all char to death around you. And there's hundreds of burning spiders all over the place. The Medusa is her back. You can see that her the, the back of her dress has been charred, and you see the the snakes kind of come up above her headdress with a blast, but she keeps her footing. Uh, and with that, I think I am going to back up five feet. Okay, and then you just whoop, back up five feet a little bit. All right, <laughs> art locks. <laughs> Your turn, but I need you to start with making a con saving throw. You made it. Good. Um. Right. I am gonna hit a um hit her with this in a, in a space so it only hits her. You know, same as what. Yeah, that's just fine. Did. Hypnotic pattern. Uh, what's the saving throw on this? Charisma, I believe. Charisma saving throw. Um, hold on. No, wisdom. Sorry. Wisdom My bad. saving throw. She rolled a 17. Ah, uh, she passed it. Lucky bitch. Um, and then I'm going to move. Just retreat back? I'm going to retreat back and not face her. You're going to avert your eyes? I'm going to hide behind the pillar so my eyes okay. aren't looking at her yet. All right. Sir Hadrian! Mm, nom, nom, nom. Con saving throw, right? Yep. Shit. Well, I mean, if you if if you choose, you can divert your eyes, but then you're on disadvantage on any attacks. It's kind of uh, up to you. You can. I think, you can I think being stone would disadvantage you quite a bit more. Yeah, I mean, I'll look away. So you can avoid you can avoid the th the saving throw by avoiding your eyes, but then you cannot. But but then you know you're at disadvantage trying to hit her. Yeah, I'll do that, and then I will. One sec. I'll take a chance with the bow. Okay. Go away, G Force experience. That does hit. Eight. Okay. 
28 damage. And response. Yeah, you really. <laughs> I just realized that. Uh, yeah. yeah. You just your your you other just, characters really specced for that bow. Yeah, it was. <laughs> you uh, you close your eyes, and just, whoop, and uh, you manage to score a hit on the Medusa. Not bad. You got a hit in. Okay. Oh, I just realized Sir Hadrian should have gone before me. Doesn't matter. It's okay. There. Um, that brings us to Perry's turn. That Sir Hadrian backed off Perry's in darkness. Oh, yeah, well. Perry. Perry. NG. Perry he's probably, Docks. He's probably talking. NG Perry Docks. He's probably talking, but, uh. Oh, so yeah, so yeah, I, I was talking. <laughs> but, um,. I say, uh, Ben, if I cover my eyes with a loincloth and I go yep. to attack her, mm -hmm. I guess I just get dis do I just get you, disadvantage? You just get disadvantage because you can't see precisely what you're you're striking at. Okay. Now the problem is, is that I should have last time healed myself. That's I should have done that last turn. I just realized. You you can we can retcon that because you didn't use your your action for anything, so you can you can All do right. that. That's fine. All right, thanks. Where's the monodrone in the turn order? Oh, I forgot about him. There we go. So, uh, yeah, last time I used Lay on Hands to heal myself for 21 points. No, 22 points. Uh, and now I'm, I'm going to cover my eyes with a loincloth. <laughs> and attack. With what? How are you going to... you going to move forward? What? Nudge. Yeah, I'm going to attack with Nudge. Okay, you are It's it's okay, isn't it? Because you cover your eyes. Yeah. yeah. What you can do is you cover yeah. <laughs> when, when you're fighting something like this. You cover your eyes and get disadvantage, or you have to make the saving throw to see if you get petrified or not. Uh, I'm just gonna run in and be like, ah, gonna die, jump up, foul. Jump up there next to her, bitch. Okay, uh, <laughs> make make a swing. Like, hey, bada bada bada. Hey, bada bada. Oh! Okay, Perry, um, you j you leap up on top of the sarcophagus. Uh, you take one swing at her, and she doesn't even have to move. You completely lose your footing, fall backwards, and land prone. Ah! Yeah, you just, you just like, you like fell, you slipped off the, the, the curved wood of this <laughs> thing, don't. fell uh. down backwards, and you're laying down on the ground at her feet. I just can I you, stand up? You can. Uh, you used all of your your movement to get there, so you can't stand up. You do get your other attack. Okay. <laughs> so I'm trying to hit her from the floor. Yeah. You're already disadvantaged, so I'm like, ah, yeah, yeah. Damn. I want to see him actually hit her. <laughs> so okay, okay. So you take you take nudge, swing it around and try to swoop and completely misjudge. You ro okay? I didn't anticipate this happening because otherwise it wouldn't have done this. But what's gonna happen here is you you roll off the sarcophagus onto the rug right here, Bruh. which immediately then wraps uh, itself around <laughs> you and starts squeezing you. It's a rug uh trap. <laughs> <laughs> so just for just so you guys know what's going on here. Uh So, okay, this isn't fat. because you very specifically <laughs> stepped around it, I was not going to have it do anything because this thing was going to activate the first time someone touched it. But you you definitely stepped around it, but then you rolled two ones in a row, so... That's I don't so feel, fair. I don't feel bad about God, that. So you, so you guys see Perry whiff, My Hermes, why? Whiff, whiff and fall down, then, you know, try to do like a swing over his head like this, roll off the sarcophagus, land on the rug, and then as soon as he hits the rug, it just... <laughs> rolls him up. What makes this better is right before he did the charge, he put a, a, an old ogre loincloth <laughs> over his eyes, and he, then he did it. <laughs> oh, that's true. He put the loincloth over his face. So his head's covered while he's doing this, which makes perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> narratively, narratively, that makes perfect sense. You're right. <laughs> oh, man. So so you're, you're on the ground grappled by the rug right now, Perry. 
And it's okay. uh, it is Bro, the no bad. It is it's it's the Medusa's turn right now. Um, hi. Does she uh, just laugh? <laughs> uh, let's see here. This is gonna be the most I fun she's I had in centuries. Was. Yeah, I was about to say this is this is really interesting for her. That that didn't go like I planned in my head. I don't think that I don't think anybody anticipated you rolling two ones. In a I row. I, in a row. Oh it's man. I kind of two ones in like one combat, but in a row. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um. All right. So, uh, you you sitting down there? She's just going to lean over and she's going to take um. Uh, two. She's gonna take out a short sword. She takes two swipes at you with the short sword. Oh. Hurts. She just rolled a one, so that one missed. <laughs> well, she's got to roll an advantage. He's, he's grappled. Okay. So I would have forgotten wait, about that if wait, you hadn't said I, it, but wait, you're right. I, the I, second I, one was an 18. Now let wait, me die. 18 I, plus 5 to 23. Wait, yeah. I have yep. a question. Yeah. He's prone on the ground. Rolled up in a carpet. With but a, she's standing up on a platform on top of a... She just leans over and starts a swiping down. She's got some reach with that thing. Okay. Um, I'm just saying, that seems very... Very different. You know, between an arm and a sword, you can get down there. It's not like the platform's like four or five feet up. It's just each one of these is just like a little step up, basically. Um, oh. Yeah, it's not like a huge platform. It's like a foot. And it's like a foot oh, in okay. a sarcophagus, and she's just swooping down at foot. Okay, I was I was like, because the stairs threw me off. I thought it was a it's slightly the, yeah, high distance. I mean, it's it's not a huge gap. The stairs are very. They don't have I a lot of rise like to four them. Four or five feet for each. No, no, it's, it's just like a foot. Um, so that's a that's an eighteen, and that is one d six plus two piercing damage. So that's you take she she, she just stabs down and just whoo, right into you. You take five points of piercing damage. <laughs> She rolled an 18 and a 19 for the second attack. That is seven points of piercing damage. So just ha ha <laughs> right into you. Um, Do I heal? And then you see Please you, you see like the snakes that have been coming out of the back of her headdress, kind of you know you know swoop out a little bit, and then a couple of them swoop, swoop down at you, and they so roll. The best part is he doesn't see this because his eyes are covered. No, he's just getting poked. Uh, and the snake hair is, uh, that's five, plus five, so that was 21 to hit, and then it's... Someone cut this bitch's head off. It's, you take four additional points of piercing damage, and I'm gonna need to get my bag for the next one. How, how does she, she, how does she keep getting such great rolls and I get two ones? She's rolling, rolling well, you got, you got two ones finish. because you have disadvantage. The second one would have been a hit if you didn't have disadvantage. Um, she's rolling with hilarious. advantage. Uh, here, let's, here, let's, let's do this on the table so you can hear it. Six, nine, Don't worry, the snakes are not poisonous. They are, however, venomous. <laughs> and you take 15 points of poisoning damage. Of poison damage. I gotta say, that was the the most failure I've ever seen in one round. <laughs> That's coming from the player of Borkfard. Yeah, and I played <laughs> Borkfard, who rolled negative initiative rolls. How much damage you said it was? That was 15 points of poison damage. I, I'm, I'm almost dead. Well, that actually reminds me, I gotta add, that, that reminds me, I gotta add the rug into initiative order now. <laughs> So is there any way we can bring the rug to our side? <laughs> it's an anim. Uh, cut for this I think same he's cut like me. The, the rug is an animated object. It doesn't really have any cognitive abilities of its own. If we could bring it to our side of thinking. That rolled a ten. So that's so, gonna be. It's so gonna Tyburn, be, me, or the rug? Who has best initiative? It's got a dex of fourteen. What is yours? Uh, mine is a dex of 15. 
So you go before it. Tyburn's is a dex of 16. So it goes Tyburn, Ca oh, so it's exactly the order it is in right now. Tyburn, Coswin, the rug. All right, that's the, the Medusa's turn. The Monodrone is going to uh, look around the room. It looks at everybody, and then it's going to walk over here to Sir Hadrian, and it opens up a little compartment on its side and takes out this little notebook and a little quill. And it just looks up at you, Sir Hadrian, and it goes, Name, age, and association, please. Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna answer it. Just gonna uh, it, stare it looks at up it. at you again and says, Name, age, and association, please. Are we allowed to cut in or so? If you want to shout something, it's fine. The last person that have been asked to ask him got attacked. They killed a slog. <laughs> With a quill. <laughs> um, so you're saying I should answer it? Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to be truthful. Uh, my name is Julius Quinton. What? What else did it want? Name. Age and association. Uh, twenty-four, and. A squire to Sir Hadrian. Okay, it jots all of that down, and that's the end of its turn. Uh, what is? You okay. just signed up your squire for a newsletter. <laughs> <laughs> just gotta get a whole 24. bunch of issues of the Oprah magazine now. Um, Tyburn, what? Did, uh, I think Tyburn should probably it. heal Perry. Does everybody agree with that? Yes, probably. I don't uh, think he has. I, does he have I ranged agree. heals though? I don't know. He's, I think he has. I'm gonna look Tyburn. at his spells. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure he does. Mud. It's Parry that doesn't have ranged heals. So spells. Um, I've, does I've Parry got a have you. healing still? Healing word. I use most of my healing. Okay. Yeah, sixty feet. Uh, yeah. I can heal two more hit points, Cosmo. Um, Tyburn <laughs> is going to have to make his uh, saving throw though, because he's going to be trying to very specifically target this spell at at someone, so he's going to be looking at him. Yeah, but he's he's outside 30 feet, though. Oh, he is. No, you're right. I thought it was 30 feet exactly. My bad. I must have measured that wrong. Um, no, he's good. Uh, so, let's see. 1d4 plus spell casting modifier. Uh, so, 1d4, what's his spell casting modifier? Uh, hang on, hang on. I don't know. I'm not used to playing other people's PCs. That's his proficiency plus his primary spell casting. That's uh, 6. So, 1d4 plus 6. So you heal for seven HP. That's it. Wow. I rolled a one on a 1d4. Wow. Also, usually, uh, Ben, uh, he, he uses higher spell. Uh, at higher levels, add additional 1d4 per superior. So uh, do you want right. to... Who thinks I mean, right now, that's good, though. I mean, that'll keep him from dying, probably. That's fine, yeah. Hopefully. Oh, that. Does anybody want me to move oh. Tyburn? No. Uh, he's, he's good. Okay. Uh, makes it Coswin's turn. You did Great. a lot of damage last time. Uh, let's see here. What do I want to use? Obviously nothing that's an area of effect, because Perry's right there. Unless you can put it behind it. Her. I think I'm going to use Scorching Ray. So I'm going to cast that, which is like three attacks. 14, 15, 17. So two hits. So the first two one hits. just streaks right past her. The second two, boom, boom, right in the chest. Nine points of fire damage. Nine points of fire damage. Are these what level spell? Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sixty-eight. We've definitely had that one. Uh, you frighten the nearest creature until the end of your turn. That's you. I'm now frightened of Coswin. No, he can't see me though. I, I can't creature. see. Creature. No, but he has to. He has to be able to actually the re line of sight. read exactly what it says to me. You frighten. You are frightened by the nearest creature until the end of your turn. Oh, you're, I am frightened. Yeah, yes. you're frightened of Artlocks. Well, I can't see Art, so it doesn't matter. 
but you still have to move away from him. I can't see him, though. I have no idea where he is. Yeah, no, frightened well, requires sight. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. When I If I move forward and saw him, then I'd have to leave. But <laughs> right now I'm in. Can you imagine? Artlox moves forward to get a, like a shot off, and you just look over. Ah, 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 ah! <laughs> uh, that's... Well, the other, the only, the, the next closest thing would have been the rug, and you are already backed up like into the, the like the roof corner of this room. <laughs> yeah. Also, by the way, I'm gonna go up by full twenty feet now instead of okay. fifteen. So now you, you're basically <laughs> right up at about. You, you're almost up to the ceiling, basically. <laughs> yeah, right. a little uh, further away. I'm like I'm like fucking Magneto at this point, just like. Going yeah. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> uh, that's it. Yeah. That's All good. right. Uh, so, it is the Rug of Smothering's turn, uh, and it is going to smother Perry, keep constructing like him. <laughs> Let's see. It's kind of kinky. Sure it's grappled, escape, DC 13. There are people that pay a lot of money for this. <laughs> I'm getting so hard, can, help Perry. me! <laughs> oh, there should be an extra two heal on, um, the Tyburn heal because of his life domain. Okay. Oh, oh so yeah. Two. Add more two, so. add two more. Yeah, so whenever two he more heals, HP it's, gonna go away. it's right. D whatever, plus two from domain, plus spell level, plus spell casting modifier. So, four, one, five, plus three. You take eight points of bludgeoning damage as the thing constricts around you. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can. Well, hey, you, it's a good thing we added those, uh, those two, so now... All, all told, you got a net one HP from that yeah, last well, turn. Uh, if, and then and on his, the start of his next turn, he could try to break away from the thing, though. That's the thing. He can try to get away from it. All right. <laughs> Artlox, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, yeah, she's in range. Guys, I, I, I can't see, but she seems really powerful. <laughs> There's these she little snakes she, coming down she, she, and spiking Perry's face. No. Okay. And now I give yourself move. bardic inspiration. Inspiration. Yeah, I'm oh, fine. I'll, I'll give myself bardic inspiration, and I'll add, uh, what is it, one d8 now, lol, onto my to hit yeah. roll. Yeah. Okay. Sixteen. You, that hits. <laughs> So, roll for damage. Two piercing, nine lightning. So you take two points of piercing damage and uh, nine points of lightning damage. And Perry, you take nine points of lightning damage. As oh, does thanks. the rug. As does the rug. Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> I literally have, like, no health. Why can't I just grab the rug? Oh, you know, I got the wrong damn thing on. So that is... Uh, and then, because I can, I'm going to cast this, level one. <laughs> because I can. Because I uh, can. On parry. On parry. Perry, did that knock you out? No. I have four, five HP. <laughs> so per uh. Perry's, everybody's dumping all the healing into Perry as he slowly suffocates to death. And I... As long as he gets off while he's turn. dying. I am my turn facing away again. Okay. So it is Sir Hadrian's turn. Um... Hmm... I, I guess I just go with the longbow again. Okay. Uh, are you averting your eyes or no? No. All right. So before, roll a Constitution at, saving throw. I'm, oh, wait, wait, no, you're, I, no, you're out of I'm range. I'm outside you're the right. thing. Yeah, you're, you're out of range. That's fine. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. So that's gonna hit. That really wants somebody to be petrified in stone in this encounter. No, I just you, you guys, you guys are just staying like right at the range, and it's, it's throwing me. Oh off. yeah. And it, it's, maybe it's a good thing Perry said he wraps the loincloth around his face because otherwise he wouldn't have been able to like like he just would have been about to have to go like I don't see it. Damn it! I love right. that the mon drone though is in range. <laughs> mon drone might get petrified. Uh, okay, so it. that's twelve points of damage to um, the Medusa. Yeah, and I just realized on the, my last roll I should have re-rolled the one I rolled for the piercing damage because of my feet, but. 
Yeah, it's come and gone. Yeah. It's so hard to remember all these things. Um, are you moving? Um, yeah. Yeah, oh, I'm done. Looking away. All right. Now, Perry, um, you can make a strength saving throw to try to get out of it. Ah, uh, okay. Then you do. DC was 13. DC was 13. So you uh, throw the rug off of you, but you're still laying on the ground. So you can you can uh, use half your movement to stand up. And then you have 15 feet to move and a bonus action. Um, I'm going to have to get away from her because I, I just don't have enough health. If you move away from uh, her, she gets an attack of opportunity. Yeah, but if I stay here, she gets, like, free attacks. That's true. So, move away. Does she just get one attack if I move she gets away? one attack. Okay, yeah, I'll move. I'll probably move away. If I get up, then I move away and don't use an action. Can I move thirty? Uh, if you're crawling, I don't think you can move your full speed. Uh, if because you're still prone. Yeah, you're still on the ground. You you got yourself off the rug, but you were on the ground, so you would need to stand up. And standing up takes half your movement, so you'd only be able. This to rug move 50. just reminds me of Doctor Strange's cloak. And 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 get breaking away from the rug was your action, so you wouldn't be able to use your action to move thirty extra feet. So you can you can crawl fifteen feet, or you could run fifteen feet, but that's all you can do. And she could chase me and kill me anyway. Man, all honesty, right there, you're doing a really good job of keeping us keeping safe. her distracted. <laughs> yeah, just pound her, uh, pound her. He, doesn't have an oh. he used his action to break out of the grapple. So I can't Damn. hit her. No, you don't have you don't have an action to attack. I could do. I could. I could use sanctuary. Uh, let Is me that just a check bonus that. Action? Would that be okay? Is it a bonus action or an action? Let me just check. Bonus action. Then you can do it. That's an action. Just for that. Okay. Sanctuary, you ward a creature within range against within range against attack until the spell. Yeah, so just get Medusa. So you create a ward creature within attack or harmful must first make a wisdom save and throw. On a failed save, the creature must choose a new target or lose the attack or spell. Yeah, I'm going to have to just perform a Sanctuary on myself. Mm-hmm. So that will be uh, so we'll have a one spell. So let me just get rid of that. On the Medusa, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then she I, has I, to make I, a... you 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 put it on yourself. Yeah, and then she if she wanted to attack you, she'd have to make a Wisdom throw to see if she can do it. Yeah, I, I, well, basically anyone who attacks me has to make a Wisdom throw. No, it's the two, it's the it's the creature that you set. No, no, no. I you use it. On, no, you, you use it on yourself. I'm using it on myself. Really? You don't yeah. use it. Attack. Yeah, you ward a creature within range against attack. Ward a any creature yeah, who oh, targets that, that, that's the, about the target. Creature. Let's talk about the target. You ward a creature, the target, against attack. Not he, a any creature. No wait. Any creature who targets the warded creature with an attack must first make a wisdom save and throw. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, Perry. So, so I put it on Perry. myself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I, I put it on myself. Uh, and then if you wanted to move, move away, out of the rug. Yeah, <laughs> she, she would get an rug. attack, and the rug would, would would try to attack. You. Really? I thought you can stay inside. I thought we said that last time. If you move you can, in the you air, can of move, combat, you could like you know attack. dive back and forth in front of her. Yeah, but I thought you could just move here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's okay. I I would say crawling up there would take all of your, all of your movement because that's I mean, going uh, up a thing and then up another thing. But the rug would still get an attack of opportunity. Yeah, though. it would. Yeah. But I'm still in this attack gun, though. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, Perry, the, the rug has an attack zone, and the Medusa has an attack zone. So, yeah. like, if you did the thing we did before, where if you went over to this side of the rug, you'd still be in the rug attack zone, but you wouldn't be in the Medusa's. Put it in Blood Bowl yeah, so terms. She, so, she, so, she, 
So, so she would attack me? Yeah, no, she would he... attack you. And if you went up to the Medusa side here, then you leave the rug's attack zone. No, I'm not. He's, he's four attack. squares, isn't he? So it's still next to him. You can still attack no, me. You're... No, you're... You're in that fourth square there now. It's not on top of you, is it? Where, uh, where's it? Where's it? Uh... I thought it was on top of me, because I stood on it. it. You and it are basically occupying the same space right now. I get that. But it's right, this, so this big old rug. It's got right, a lot so of What reach. I'm saying is if he moves up it's one, he's, rug. he's yeah, still in his still... range. That range is, yeah. Dub. I'd say it's fine, yeah. Okay, but I can't stand up. You're saying? No, that getting there, you'd be able to. You'd be able to stand up and get up there, but that's as far as you can go. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll go up here, stand up, and he's ward. I use a sanctuary on myself. Okay. So. It is and then I pray to Hermes to protect me. Okay. <laughs> All right. It is now her turn. Uh. Let's see, she is going to hop down and move forward. One, two. Attack what? of opportunity. Yep, you get an attack of opportunity with, hang on, she, oh, I lost her. What? Disappear. She's Sorry. inside Sorry. the rug. You can get rid of that little rug there, because you already, the, Oh, the that's animated, true, I can get rid of yeah, this the one. the animated rug is a thing. So. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so she's going to move, <laughs> that's one. Unless there's more than one, they lay at each other. <laughs> so oh. I, I attack her then. Yeah, uh, he you're gets gonna an attack opportunity. And you're gonna be at disadvantage because you you have your eyes covered. So if he hits it. her though, she can't move uh, past there. Okay, I might nudge her though. Roll. Yeah, but I'm saying it's she yeah. she ends her movement once you do that. He though. missed. Oh, got pretty good. He missed, direction. and she's going to start uh, lashing. Uh, she's going to start uh, hitting art locks. What? Wait, what? Oh yeah, you. fuck! No, she's down here. Yeah, she 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 crossed the room. Yeah, she knows I'm warded, so she doesn't. I don't think a two is gonna hit. Nope. Uh, seventeen. Oh, that's exactly my AC. You little. Okay. So that right. is her. That's her. I second. can't see down there, but. Uh... Hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta find her. Her sword is. Missed. So that's seven points of piercing damage. And then, oh yeah, that's it. That was a 19. Um, that is five points of piercing damage from the the snakes art locks, and four, seven, eight, ten, and ten points of poison damage from the the venom. Is she bloody? Yeah, yeah, she's she's not looking good. Okay, I am looking very dead. The monodrone now turns to her and says his normal day, age, and association. And she doesn't. She kind of looks down at it and doesn't uh, doesn't respond. And she he repeats himself: name, age, and association. And she she she's too busy with her you know her melee attacks on Artlocks. He's now going to make an attack on the Medusa. If this thing kills it, I'm gonna fuck. He roll an eight. That's not gonna hit anything. Not he either. gets so, advantage. Oh, he does get he advantage. Does. <laughs> That's a ten. Still not good enough. <laughs> so he takes out his little quill and goes to stab her and hits her in the calf, but it's just a quill, so it just breaks. The power of friendship. Uh, it's now Tybert's turn. What is? It, what do you guys right. want Tybert to do? Right, I want Tybert. I, I want Tybert. Um, to he's give gonna. Me, he's gonna have to make a, a religious shield. He um he succeeds on his Constitution uh, roll to not be petrified. He succeeds that. Uh, and you want him? You want him to give you what was it now? Holy shield. Holy shield is it? I can't remember. Let me look at his spells. The one that gives. AC bonus. Shield of Fate. Arlogs, how much health do you have? Nine. I've, I, uh, yeah, you're worse off than me. I have 12. Yeah. She just did uh, a fuck ton of H. I was on 31 when she got into combat with me. So, uh, 
So you, he casts Shield of Faith on you. Yep. And you guys want him to move it all? Uh, no. I want him to get out his gauntlets, I think. What do you guys think? Gauntlets would work. His spiritual weapons? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we do That's need to do some thing. damage on a... Where are those? Spare the dying, mending resistance, sacred frame, light, healing. Is that just some? Is that that's not a spell? That's just a thing you can do, right? Yeah, I think so. Mm, blast, cure wounds, bane, detect really? good and evil, detect magic. Why has he never used that before? <laughs> it's because he doesn't do a lot. It was like that time where I was using him, and then we realized he has protection from good and evil. Uh, he could test spiritual weapon or shield of faith, but he can't do both. Why not? Shield of faith's a bonus action. He's he's got Shield of Faith listed as a uh, first level spell. Yeah, well, yeah, but that it's that doesn't mean anything. Action oh, okay. is what it means. Right, 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 right. No, you're no, you're right. Okay, so spiritual weapons. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. And let me find my Tyburn uh, gauntlets. Uh, goddamn, where is it? That's Borkvard. Uh, God, where is that? I know I uploaded it. That's a Grimlock. That's a giant bat. Well, I know I got the doodle. So let's see. Uh, tokens. There we go. At least it's really easy to upload things into this. You just click and drag. All right, so he's got to cast those. And get him to make an attack. Uh, when you can, you can make a when you cast a spell, you can make an attack. Cool. Actually, those one were both bonus. Both those spells were bonus actions. Yes, yeah, so you just cast one of them as an action. Surely. Is that how right. that works? I think if you get one bonus action, one action. I don't think you can. Because you can't go, you can't Burks. use an, an action as a bonus action, so I don't think you use a bonus action as an action. Burks. You want yeah, but a bonus action in itself is obviously like a minor version of an action, so I could see you being able to use a bonus action as an action, but not an action as a bonus action. I've never, I, see that. I don't think I've ever seen or heard of that happening. I don't know Burks. if that's a thing. I did, but I could, I could understand if that was a rule. It would make sense to me. Well, if nothing else, just have him do his sacred flame or whatever he normally does. Yeah, if it, if, yeah. All right, this is taking way I too long. I call upon the so sacred which, which flames spell, of the Which pump. spell do you want up? Well, You're shield the, of faith. Getting the shield mage. of faith. All right, and you want him to do sacred flame on the Medusa? Yeah. All right, sacred flame on the Medusa. She rolled a six. That's not going to succeed, so that's 2d8, I believe, on sacred flame. Mm-hmm. Tyburn. She's level five. Save flame. Save flame. 2d8. 2d8 radiant. So that's a d8. It's a seven and an eight. That was a big one. That's the bo that was the most damaging sacred flame he's ever done. Yes, it is. All right, so boom, boom. The Medusa gets hit with sacred flame, blinded by the light just temporarily. Uh, and you said you do not want Cosman to move? Tyburn to move. Tyburn to move. Uh, well, he's not in combat, ask, what the hell are you talking about? Sorry. <laughs> if he's not in combat, yeah, he, can, he should move. All right, so I'm going to have him move down here then. All right, Coswin. I have line of sight with the creature, but I am still 20 feet in the air plus 20 feet yeah. away. So I'm going to say she has, she has partial cover from where you are. There's... A wall and a column between you two. All right, then I move forward five feet. Okay. Okay, guys, I've got to go. Yeah. Is it really, that time? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, it's I've fifteen minutes over. So yeah. Fifteen minutes over. Uh, all right. Let's let's stop here then. It's at let's the top it. of my turn. I haven't done anything. Yeah. We'll, we'll just leave it right here. We'll just leave it right here. Okay, so if you will enjoy this. Oh god, ride. if Tog if if Tog comes back though, is Rebecca just gonna show up just go, You guys left me behind! <laughs> no, we'll just do the no. same thing I did. I'm here to save you. Yeah, you should just have to sit out until we're done. Yeah. Um, 
Sad we couldn't finish the fight, but Artlox has to go, so we'll leave this here. Yeah. News from China. Adios. We're, so we're I'm really close to killing this thing, though. Yeah, I know. That's why I just voted. Like, I was I'm really hoping 19 to get to AC and tank it. I was really hoping that we would be able to finish the fight before we ran out of time, but I didn't realize we were already over.